Hello, party people. How's it going? Fellow weird weirdos. The weirdest of all weirdos. How are you doing today? You know, I'm actually kind of bummed. I feel like this light is just dying like all the time. I just put in new batteries for it. But she's a dying. She just won't stop, man. Why am I, la why am I light dying? I'm gonna set a lamp. <laughs> What's going, everyone? Welcome, welcome in. Hello, hello. Uh, let me pull up the YouTube chat. I'm so sorry. Um, I need to save up and get YouTube premium. Hey, Dan, happy Friday for a minute. I thought you were not going to stream today. No, I just... So, I'm not going to lie. I woke up this morning. And I woke up early, but I was just being so lazy, dude. Like all day, all night last night, I was so lazy. Like I was like half falling asleep. I should have just went to bed. I was so tired. I was just laying in bed till like 930, like instantly got out of bed or got off a of stream, went into my bed, ate ice cream, watched some TV show. But the show was so dang intriguing to me. I didn't go to sleep until like 130. But still, that's pretty early for me. Um, yeah, but I totally forgot to post the schedule out and like update it on Twitch, on Discord, on YouTube even. So that's my bad. Um, but I did update it on Twitch till about Monday. So, um, tomorrow's the Walk to Mordor at 10 a.m. And also the Sunday is Literal Ladies Night. I do plan to do Spring Fest Literal Ladies Night. We're starting at eight. So we're only going to be live for two hours, which I just think is so small we're not gonna get through much so um i figured that after that we can do some spring fest um hey gadget how you doing i saw you lurking uh rob you said oh i've been there before yeah so i want to i want to say okay i posted so something interesting is going in the works and i can't say anything well i guess exciting for me so may looks like i'm gonna be traveling a frick ton like i wanted to go see a lot of people and i was like well may is probably the best month because i feel like summer summer everybody's gonna be doing stuff typically when everybody's like off doing things during the summer i typically just work my little tush off because i don't like the heat i don't want to be out like that um but may i was trying to plan to go see a lot of people so like I was planning to go see my friend in Kentucky. Gantron will be kind of in town, so I'm gonna try to go stop and see him in May. But now one of my um, one of my family members reached out, and they basically were like, "So I might be planning something um, to come and like see you." And I was like, "Oh, okay. So like we might meet up." So um, yeah. So I think May is gonna be very busy. <laughs> I think I'm literally traveling like because I told my friend. I told her basically during like Star Wars weekend, I was going to go visit her in Kentucky, um, which is so long overdue. She's literally come up here like three to four times since she moved to Kentucky. And that was like five years ago. And I have been down there no times. Come to Florida. I mean, tyrant, you know, wow. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe that is where I'll go in May. I don't know. I mean, I, who knows, you know, wow. <laughs> literally one guess and you're just like you got it bro <laughs> anyway gadget a month of obs for yeah so i don't know how the stream schedule is gonna look in may um april is my birth month and i'm trying to put like i'm trying to squeeze everything into april because i'm just so excited but um because i want it to be like a non-stop celebration of just everything but um yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm like, I need to make April as busy as possible so that May it's like not as bad. Like I'm not hurting you guys like by not streaming as much. So um yeah, May May is just just keep in mind, May is like it's gonna be busy, to say the least. <laughs> just a little busy, just a little. You know, it's like three weekends I plan on traveling out of the state. So <laughs> um <laughs> like three of like what four or five weekends in may like i think that's a lot and honestly i could make it every weekend you know you won't upset or hurt us enjoy some vacate yeah do it i don't really go on vacations like i don't even qualify these as vacations i just call them road trips because i don't go out and i don't like i don't take like weeks off or anything like that it's always like 
four days at most that I take off. TwitchCon is actually, I feel like a vacation to me because I'm taking five days off, which is like weird, even though I'll be streaming still, but like streaming doesn't feel like work. So it's like that weird difference, you know, but, <laughs> but like, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you know, but yeah. So like if I'm out, it's going to be like three, four days tops. I plan for it just to be like long weekends, like Thursday into like Sunday or whatever, whatever. Hey, Mike V, how's it going? Hello, hello. Rob, you said, gotta unwind, turn your brain off for a few days every month or two. It's healthy. Yeah, I've been really planning for April. So what was going to happen was my family and I, we were going to go to a family. We were going to go on a family vacation because typically what I would do in May, actually, is that I would go up to Michigan to a specific place. So I would go with my ex all the time and I love going there and I still plan to go there. But honestly, I told my ex like two years back now, I was like, I'm tired of going here all the time. Like, it's a small place. We basically went through everything to do. And then I was just like, I don't want to be here anyway. Like, but I, I, there's one place I just love to eat their food. So I really want to take a whole day trip to go up there. It takes like six hours to get there. I'll drive up six hours, like go eat the food and then like drive back the same day, six hours. So I want to do that at some point. But you know, but anyway, so I planned a family vacation because I wasn't going to do that. My family was telling me that they they can't really go anywhere this year because my mom actually at the end of this year or next year, she's going overseas. So she's trying to save but she still wants to do like a small road trip. So basically, my family and I had decided for a little family vacation that we're starting, we were going to go to Pittsburgh, which I freaking love Pittsburgh, y'all. Pittsburgh is my freaking place. Like, that is my place. And I have not been in, like, six years. I miss Pittsburgh so, so, so much. Hi, hi. How's it going? Hey, Saber. How's it going? It's going well. Can't complain. Yeah, I'm talking about road trips and everything. Wait, hi, have you said what a coincidence? My birthday is April 24th. Mine's April 12th. Yo, we're 12 days apart. Vacation would save you from MMO burnout. I, yeah, maybe, honestly. But um, but yeah, so I was hoping we were trying to do um, our family vacation. But now what's happened is like my mom's boyfriend, he has all these different medical things that have come up now. And like all his cash is like going out the window to that stuff. So um, I haven't been told that we're like totally canceling the vacation, like our little family vacation of like two or three days, but I'm going to figure it's going to be canceled. So I kind of want to just go myself to Pittsburgh for like a day and just <laughs> chill out. So I don't know. I was trying to plan that like in May, but I don't think it's going to get planned in May, but I would like to do that. Maybe even April for my birthday is like a birthday gift to myself. I just go take a train into Pittsburgh and <laughs> just stay at a hotel one night or something, leave the next day, just get work done or whatever. I don't know. Bro. I love Pittsburgh. It's like my place. It, I don't know why it's like my place. There's just one place in Pittsburgh I just absolutely love. And it's just been a blast. So. Muriel, no. Plus, I could get away from Muriel and, you know, she could stop chewing up my cords all the time. So I love you, Muriel, but oof. Sometimes you just need a break, you know? Um, yeah, so I like road tripping. And that was one thing I told myself that I really want to do this year for myself is I need to go on more road trips. What was the last road trip y'all were on? Last road trip I was on was... I think it was a year ago. See, my mom and I, when I grew up, we would always go on road trips. We would go on road trips once a month. Like, it was pretty common. And, you know, the older we've gotten, things have changed and blah, blah, blah. But that was always something that we would do. We would take like a day, we would go like somewhere out of town and just shoot the crap, I guess, and then leave the same day. Like, <laughs> it's just so, I don't know. I like doing that stuff and I've fallen so out of touch with that. Like everything else I would do was always like very like expensive, like like kind of like vacations in the pricing, but it'd only be a few days. Be like, oh, let's go eat at the fanciest restaurant and blah, blah, blah. And I don't like that stuff. I don't want to do that all the time. I want to like, I want to live it on like a really cheap budget. I'll be like, here, I've got five bucks to uh <laughs> get gas. Where are we going? You know, <laughs> five dollars for gas for the whole day. So uh, <laughs> how's that going? <laughs> That's always how my mom and I was because she was so broke. Like my mom for my whole life almost 
was working a minimum wage job. So <laughs> she had no money whatsoever. So that was always how we based our road trips. Um, blog trip stream, maybe hi. I really, okay, so one place I wanted to go, I want to go to Bilbo's in Michigan. Uh, there's this restaurant called Bilbo's, but it's a drive. And um, I did tell you guys I was going to do that because it's literally Lord of the Rings inspired. And I do want to make that like a vlog or something because that would be so cool. Um, Saper, I never do road trips. It's not a thing English people normally do unless you're at places like Scotland, Wales, London, or York. Wales, man. I, I don't think I ever told you all this, but I was going to move to Wales for like a season and it covid hit so i never did but i've always wanted to go to wales that's like one of those places maybe i'll just start saving up for it you know i probably won't even get to it till like 2030 but i'll do it uh hi said florida kind of sucks it's all beaches warehouses and farmland you've seen one you've seen them all envious of people who have fun states i absolutely i, I had to say it, i do not like florida i think florida is so highly overrated i think florida ultimately is way too hot it's way too muggy Y'all get rain for like two minutes and then it just kills the whole vibe of the rest of the day. It's so hot and humid up there. Muriel says hi, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm really not a fan of Florida. Quite hilarious, so that the last place I went out of town was Florida. <laughs> so <laughs> it's crazy. Just Florida. See, all my family always lives in freaking Florida, yo. So it's like. I always have to go back to Florida for something. It's kind of crazy. Rob, you said, I remember when five bucks still bought stuff. It's brutal. Not, I know, right? Yeah, like, where did I just go? And Oh, yeah, yeah. I was telling you guys about um, the non-alcoholic margarita I had, which was like a slushie, basically. And it was like five bucks. And I was like, this is such a steal. Like, could you imagine seeing like, because like most of the time it's like pop around where I'm at anyway, like getting a friggin diet coke at a restaurant's like four dollars now i'm like i would just grab i would bring my own dang can okay <laughs> the can itself is like 62 cents or something now but my golly i'll <laughs> i would do that any day um uh, mike b said i went on a road trip in december with my wife and kids we went to at is it Asheville, north carolina nice I've only been to North Carolina one time and I wasn't really a big fan, but honestly, I, I don't, even though I stayed there, I don't really qualify it like a good amount of time to judge whether or not I liked North Carolina because we literally drove my mom and I, I drove, uh, it was 24 hours for us to get to where we had to get to. And we spread, we, I guess I shouldn't say this cause this is, uh, low key. Uh, yeah. Um, anyway, um, and then we proceed. <laughs> i'm just gonna say uh we proceeded to spread my dad my my not my dad my grandfather's ashes my my mom's dad's ashes which was totally totally planned yeah we don't it wasn't it wasn't you know dumping or anything which could be illegal no 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 none of that um <laughs> we went to the beach and spread his ashes so uh yeah so that was the last time i was in north carolina but literally we drove the 24 hours we stayed somewhere for one night and we left the following morning and <laughs> drove another 24 it was crazy <laughs> hey david how you doing david says meow hi my english teacher was from wales Ooh. Oh, man, I was going to say in, uh, I think, how do you say it? Aberswith? A Aberswith? It's like A-B-R-S-Y-W-N-T-H, something like that. And yeah, it's like a very small town in Wales, but it looks so cute. I was going to study abroad there for a season, um, but that didn't work out. <laughs> uh hi you said i'm in tampa next to usf florida is nice when we get non-stop rain the humidity is rough here but i hear seattle washington is worse Phew. yeah i've heard it's worse too tampa yeah so i i typically i have actually never made it that far into florida like i haven't been to tampa i haven't been to well i technically have been to orlando to like for flights and stuff but i never actually stayed in orlando i uh, never been to miami or anything so i would like to go there at some point because i feel like where i stay at in florida it's like very northern florida it's so freaking i mean 
the weather sucks in my opinion i really think it does but um i don't know i like more i like going to cities so much at first when i visit places i like doing the typical touristy things i guess but um like once i've been there like the next time i go there i like to stay somewhere where it's like more secluded i guess or like more like local i guess it's not totally like this bologna sandwich like touristy stuff oh yeah our roads are so clean we have no potholes you know that stuff but, but it's like uh, yeah clearly you don't because this is where all the tourists stay this is where all the money goes into but anyway i like i like the local laugh all right let's get this started let's get it started huh? let's get it started in here uh i will show you guys the game when it loads up it's still loading the, apparently there was a patch today um i'm not sure what all they did but it was actually like a really quick update um so there is that uh what the heck bruh show me swotor uh i don't know why obs does not want to show y'all swotor what is going on with my game capture not wanting to game capture? There we go. It's being so touchy, feely. All right, um, Dan. Oh yeah, Aubrey karaoke time. Oh my gosh, no. I mean, what? Yeah. So I just yeah, karaoke. Woo. Karaoke. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I lost my I lost my membership in Swotor, unfortunately. Um, I did want to do some heroics, but I don't think we're going to get to the heroics today. Um. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, I got fancy stuff. Oh, great. Crafting material. Yippee. Oh, oh yeah, we were upgrading our fashion wars. I do remember that. We need to make our fashion perfection. Um, oh, okay, these are all the same, I see. Ooh. All right, well, that was some decent gear. I'll take it. We have four messages? Jeez. Um, we've already begun field test. Uh, the Fixer's report said that all the white mall leaders have been neutralized. Commend you for taking a strong stance. Intelligence often, often recommends making deals with these pirates. A practice I find pointless and, dis and distasteful. On behalf of the Imperial War effort, please accept my gratitude and additional compensation um receive easier cult is back in order let's go we did make a cult back on narshada i think it was a uh, savory you said i had some pretty in interesting teachers back in school ranging from scottish irish and personal favorite new zealand although he was head of my schoolhouse he left before i even officially started secondary school dang well that's so cool gosh you guys had like cool teachers my teachers were like people who wanted to make it big in the world and then like they didn't and they're just like okay i'll teach i guess like like all my teachers like wanted to be like actors or like singers like professional dancers and then that never happened and so they were like i'm gonna just teach then which like you know kudos to you do it but like a lot of them didn't even like teaching to which i'm like why are you here you know <laughs> my teacher sucked man oh golly gosh i don't think i've like all my good teachers unfortunately have since passed away there's like one teacher i actually really keep in touch with um i love her she was like my video production teacher she taught me everything like film wise and she's so interested in like acting theater craft like a film stuff um so i do keep in touch with her she she's really awesome she's a good person uh Hivey says Swotor was amazing sniper is really good and gunslinger was broken in pvp when pvp used to be a big thing years ago i know i came back to Swotor now hive because i was like i really want to do pvp and i didn't realize how how much pvp has fallen i didn't realize they took out ranked like what kind of a place takes out ranked like ranked is golden like, I I'm actually really bummed that PvP isn't the thing anymore. I really am. It seems like nobody plays it. Um, but yeah, I love Sniper. Sniper was so much fun. I liked Smuggler. Smuggler was cool. Um, it was a fun set of, I guess, like, storyline. Hi, you said, I've had teachers from the US, Canada, Wales, and England. Maybe I'm missing some. You know what's funny? Actually, all of the teachers I've had pretty much are local to me. They all live in Ohio. It's, most of them, actually, used to live 
and like the rural like bum frickin nowhere like places like hours away or something in ohio and then they like moved closer to like cities and stuff and then they just ended up where i was i guess but yeah it was like all of my teachers and then what happened over time was all the teachers that i had that did it like that they eventually all took teaching positions like overseas or something like i had this really awesome algebra teacher dude i loved him he was so like he could give two fricks he would literally teach and be like yeah this is how you do xyz blah 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 but like all of us would be so tired and out of it and he's like listen i'm not even gonna waste my breath if you guys aren't even gonna listen so like have the rest of the day to yourself but you have to meet me halfway and i have to teach for at least like 15 minutes or something so that was our agreement he was so cool he'd be like yo listen i know y'all are doing your things but like i gotta do my thing i gotta work here but after that do whatever so um he was cool but then he eventually moved and he went to i think he went to the ukraine um and he actually, he was married to someone who also worked at the same school. Uh, she was a nurse, so they both moved to the Ukraine. And I was like, well, that's crazy. And then, like, same year, there was another teacher. Uh, I think they went on, like, a cruise line to teach. And that's how they did that. Robbie said PvP and MMOs just in general seem to be dying elements lately. I know, right? I think it's hard to pull off. Wow, in its glory days was probably the peak, yeah. It does feel like that for sure. I do feel like pvp is kind of like dying i don't know what it is well do you guys think maybe it's because of like the mo the more current games lately like i feel like everybody plays like fortnite valorant like um even like csgo call of duty like all these sort of battle royals are i guess you would say in a way like pvp um even though they're like more of like battle arena that M the moba games but still like do you feel like do you feel like maybe that's what's causing pvp and other games to die out especially in mmos because it just isn't as like well cut through i guess in comparison to the newer games or like what's your take on that uh how you said i say us because i'm from peru so for me us is not local i see okay that makes sense dang man i want to go to peru it's like everybody i know went to peru i got really into peru stuff and i did so many projects on peru because of tomb raider legend when laura went to peru i just loved that level and i just got so like heavily invested in peru same thing with ghana i would love to go to ghana because of the level in <laughs> tomb raider legends like i studied so much about these places danny said sorry load your question no you're good do you talk to don bombadil for spring festival quest uh i don't i don't think so i've definitely never come across him for the spring fest unless he's got like a hidden deed or something but i'm not sure Robbie said, I think it's an element of balancing so many abilities and classes to be able to compete when they're tailored for super specific things in the player versus enemy content. There are other elements here too, but I think it's just hard to make compelling PvP and MMOs right now. Yeah, that's fair. I honestly didn't think about it like that in terms of like combat and skills and abilities because yeah, sometimes they're just a little bit overpowered on some characters and especially put, putting that in a PvP element, I guess, yeah um danny said okay jules is doing a quest that sounded like spring fest and she talked to tom bobadale no i i saw that jules is catching up because jules missed the last uh lotro ladies and for this upcoming lotro lady she has to catch up to us so i think that she's just working on uh the book quest right now um but i could be wrong i'm not sure um hivey said the forced overly competitive mindset companies are shoving it down our throats kind of kills the mood but Swator had an almost game killing um uh, the stinking heart on YouTube almost had a game killing pop de uh, depletion where like almost no one was even playing it. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, glad she'll be able to join on Sunday. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Ido just said that she can't join. Ido said that she had something come up because uh, she was confirmed, and then literally this morning I saw that she wasn't. Um, I don't know. We might have some new girlies joining us this weekend. Um, I'm not sure. I know that we have so many girlies now. We're making a lot of changes in Lotro Ladies. Um, yeah, there is a lot of changes happening. Um, so it'll be interesting. 
Robbie said, yep, the esports mindset sucks. I don't want to sweat when I fire up my games. I just want it to be enjoyable and fun. Something Helldivers 2 proves is still popular. There's hope. <laughs> See, I don't really, I mean, I haven't watched anything for Helldivers 2, but just the concept of the game doesn't seem interesting to me. But I mean, it is what it is. People seem to enjoy it. But yeah, I am kind of over the, that was something we talked about a lot in my esports class was how should games i guess like like how should if you were like a game developer how would you balance your games out would you balance it for casual players or would you balance it for competitive and like 80 percent of the class besides me so like out of the five people i was the only one that was like i would balance it towards casuals and everybody else was like you should balance it towards competitive and i don't believe in in doing that i see why they think that but honestly at the end of the day your player base is going to be more casual players no matter what so if you're going to balance it more towards like helping competitive people or sweats you're not going to have any new pe people join your game because it's just too overwhelming and then it's going to be even more overwhelming because all the sweaty people are mostly playing it you know so i think you have to definitely i think games need to remember that but i don't know if like I don't know if it's because esports is like the new trendy thing or whatever or they're just trying to like get a bang for their buck to do that do it like that but like i just don't i don't think that's how you should do it um but i think if you want to think about it on a business aspect like aspects everybody was like oh well that's why you need to do it for competitive so then that way all the esports stuff but i'm like esports you don't make money i think that that's a proven thing you really don't make any money in esports right now it could be something that could be a lot more profitable going forward but like you really don't as a business it's a lot of brand recognition that you're paying for so i just think overall as a game you would want to balance towards casuals because that is majority of your player mindset. Um, but at the same time, sometimes those people are, aren't are going to be the people who are paying more money into your game in comparison to the sweaties. So I don't know. It's difficult. No one. Three stream streak. Boo. I had a family vacation over the weekend and lost my 50 plus streak. Oh, no. How am I? I'm doing all right. How about you? Hey, Davey. Wait, what? <laughs> What are you talking about, Davey? Um, but yeah, I'm doing all right today. Uh, living the dream, you know. Uh, David, you said you need to survive as a business, casuals and hardcores. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you do need both to survive. But the problem is, who do you gear towards more, I guess? <laughs> You're like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're like talking about like sweaty, sweaty players versus casuals and like which one game developers should gear, like balance their games more towards. And you're just like, vote this way. <laughs> like what? Rob, when you design your game for a specific person instead of the game you envision, it's problematic anyways. Yeah, that's true too. You make money by streaming. Well, uh, see, this is the problem. This is a problem with the game industry in general. I don't think the game industry has really found out how the best way to make money is. Because overall, it seems like, you know, these microtransactions honestly seem to be the best way to make money. Um, but like, overall, streaming wise, you really don't make money unless you accept sponsorships from it. But the problem is the businesses need to basically take a loss to even give you a sponsorship. They really have to think, is the publicity and the visibility worth it? Because that's all they get from it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I was talking about that so I, I, so one of my peers, we actually did a project and he works for an esports company and he does partnerships mostly. And he was just like, and it's for like a very reputable company, a very reputable esports company. And more or less, he was just like, yeah, you, we literally make no money. Like, and he was explaining to me the cost of getting the players out to go and like to competitions and all of that. And even if they win, he was like, at most, if they won like first prize, we would take a loss of about $150. But if they lose, we would literally take a loss of like $1,000. And I was like, if you know that, how the frick do you get sponsorships? And he was just like, well, it's mostly just the fact of these sponsorships they more or less just have to realize that they're going to take a loss and they're going to have to decide if whether or not the visibility is going to outrank the cost. And I'm just like, that is so bizarre. But honestly, like at the same time, I feel like you get a little bit more from a sponsorship. I mean, there are there are other more specific deals, but even streaming wise, it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of tough. 
and streaming wise right now it's a little scary because twitch basically saying they're making no money off of twitch because of the cost of running everything versus how much the like i guess just how much viewers they have it's a little i don't know it's concerning you uh no one you said doing okay it's been a long week but starting to rohan today in the great river area nice the sandguard quest line is pretty awesome probably my second favorite quest line so far dang no one nice not today this week sweet look at davy being the first weirdo now um yeah that's cool i do like great river area it's a lot of fun uh have you said maybe you can revive swotor for the rest of us swotor is a great linear story you used to be able to get max level in like two days and only have raids or pvp to do there wasn't an active casual community <laughs> maybe maybe i could get the casuals back in swotor <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm kind of falling out of Soul Tour myself now. Like, I don't know. It's it's definitely not what it used to be. I do feel like it takes longer to get through, like, this the story quests and stuff now. It's kind of odd. Um, Rob, you said the reality is that there are only a few economically viable paths left from modern game development. It's incredibly expensive and burdensome. You either find small dev teams who put out quality products for lower costs, or you choose these... these uh, these trivial A behemoths and hope that the microtransactions and marketing make you big bucks in the live service aspect. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, man. Gadget, you said streamer sponsorships are part of a company's advertising budget. If you fit that, you're good. If not, you get nothing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Whoa, no way. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much advertising. Like, I'm not going to lie, even working in the real estate aspect, and I was someone who always would pitch like certain um advertisements that we should go and then sometimes my bosses would just come up to me and be like we need to advertise in this and this and this i never saw the payout of it personally and their business so it honestly makes some sense because even if they spend like a few hundred dollars in an advertisement and like a paper and say like there's one person who reads a paper and then they become your client and they sell their house they do overall make back that money pretty substantially because that's just how selling houses work like you get a really hefty paycheck as a real estate agent but you have to go through all those hoops of hoping that that client's going to stay with you not only that that they're going to be like pretty speedy about it so even if you acquire that that client it could literally take like two years for you to even see a paycheck for that, which I, uh, that's why I'm never interested in that industry. I was like, could you imagine? But anyway, um, hey, hey, the doctor, how you doing? I like it. I like the name, the username, the doctor, the doctor. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make Sotar great again. OK, listen, what's all, what's going on with all this like low key political stuff today? Yo, chill. <laughs> election season is coming up but we don't have to get into it man <laughs> no we're, i'm over it i'm over it already yo danny said so are, are they making new content someone said elotra sotor is dying like old devs left i am very concerned for sotor because what happened is ea which i'm not gonna lie ea is slacking on everything star wars they're doing a crappy job on pretty much everything um I think EA did did Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order, though. Maybe with those is the exception, even though I did not like um, Fallen Order, but I did really like Jedi Survivor. But anyway, yeah, so Swotor, Swotor is no longer, like, majority with EA now. Now it's with Broadsword. That concerns me because apparently Broadsword doesn't really have, like, a big reputation of keeping up with these sorts of games. It seems like typically Broadsword, they just do, like, patch fix fixes and stuff which is kind of what they do but they just keep stuff alive but they don't really like to add new stuff to it but everybody was saying that that's not the case here that swotor will still be pushing out new content and they they definitely have the problem is with ea why well, i didn't like ea doing it because ea would literally be like oh my god we're having we're gonna have a new expansion in swotor it's gonna be great and then it'd be like four hours and it would just be absolute dog water it would always just suck it, it never did anything i never liked it they just didn't know what they were doing um i'm hoping broadsword can kind of do that it sounds like that ea kind of gave them some stuff or whatever i think ea is still kind of in the background but they're like very very minor now but I know that EA did say that they had some stuff that they wanted to, like, pass on to Broadsword to kind of work with, but it's up to Broadsword now. So I don't know. I don't know if, like, Swotor is dying, but I mean, like, the player base has certainly fallen through. Um, 
I don't know, just overall knowing like Lucas, Lucasfilm type of stuff lately, they seem so business oriented now because Disney. So I, I wouldn't even be surprised if like, you know, Lucasfilm games came into play and they were like, listen, we're going to just kill SWOTOR. <laughs> Make something else. Doctor, you said this is Space Barbie po police show. Your outfit designer creations to pass this checkpoint. Well, okay. If you say so, the doctor. Well, uh, I've only got a few outfits here. This is Red Sithy outfit. All right. This is the look. We're very Sithy Sith. Uh, honestly, I like this outfit because we look like the Night Sisters. I really like that. Um, it would be a dog water. A little deads. <laughs> Did I say that? Uh, this is our casual fit. So this is like, you know, our Sunday relaxing look. We're, we're looking pretty snazzy, you know, a little darkness, but a little bit of gray to really like emphasize uh, the black saber. Well, the, the not the black saber. I'm sorry. That's totally incorrect. But the, the red and black saber um, bit, you know, um, Sith Master now. All right. We got a little pink up in there. We're looking a little bit more snazzy, you know, very, very Sith Mastery. Um, Thick Vader is my favorite. Gadget said, trust me, no politics for me. None of our politicians would make it with the Sith anyway. They'd all be toast since they are not force sensitive. Yo, they'll just all get electrocuted. And then Thick Vader is, uh, it's our Thick Vader look. We basically look like we're, we're part of Vader, but we're, we got those thick thighs though. Like these, these freaking thighs, bro. My character has the craziest most muscle thighs I have ever run into in a character. I don't know how this happened to her, but I'm not complaining. You know, her thighs reflect my own, honestly. Honestly, my thighs might be bigger than hers, I won't lie. Dude, my thighs are cray cray. I, how do you guys lose weight in thighs? That's my question. How, I, I need tips, okay? Robbie says, Switzerland seems like a dead man walking, not to be pessimistic. Lotro feels like it's a lot better place, oddly enough. It's so funny because I would totally agree with you on that. If you would have asked me this like two years ago, I would have been like, Swotor definitely like further extend Lotro by like a landslide. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm actually more concerned for Swotor now than I am for Lotro now, <laughs> which is quite funny to me. <laughs> Like, I still feel like Swotor has more people playing or, well, I don't know. I'd have to look at the specifics of that. I feel like there are still more people playing at Swotor. And I do also feel like um, there are more subscribers for Swotor than in Lotro, but I could totally be wrong. But still, I don't know. I could totally be wrong. Wait, I am resetting. You said you don't leave them thick. Wait, what do you mean? How do you not leave them thick? It's just genetics, bro. They they just be thickening, thickening up. I don't know. Yeah, Hive, you're so right. I totally agree with this. Swotor did cosmetics so well with pets and mounts. I think that Swotor cosmetics are so much better than Lotro cosmetics. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just because personally, I prefer more Star Wars looking like designs, outfits. Like I, I just personally like the star wars galaxy when it comes to aesthetics more so than lord of the rings because i've just been more of like a sci-fi e type of person than in comparison to fantasy more so like i prefer sci-fi more so than fantasy so that might just be why but i think sotor just has great looking cosmetics more so than lotro like a lot of the stuff in lotro i'm just like Ugh. it looks so bad like i really wish that they would take some time to make some well-crafted stuff hey b how's it going hello hello Rob, you said my thigh weight was uh, the last to go, so I understand. I had to force myself to walk like four miles a day for a couple of years. True. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like I'm losing weight. Uh, like, it's so funny because, like, when I work out or, like, if I do ab workouts, like, getting my abs to be toned, I feel like it doesn't take long. Like, if I just do, like, a 15-minute like ab workout every day for a week i feel like i start to notice the toneness but man i could do that for the equivalent of thighs and like i could not see any difference like i don't know if it's a me thing i don't know if it is just because like you say rob like it just seems like it's the last thing to go but like i'm like what the heck man <laughs> like i need to lose it like i get concerned because i'm like my thighs are so big and my legs are so slim like how can my knees keep up all this thigh weight bro i don't know <laughs> like there's so much right like i'm get concerned because that's something that typically happens is in my family genetics or whatever you want to call it everybody just starts to get they start to get butt and then it goes in their thighs that's where they gain all their weight 
and same thing pretty much happens with me like my literal hips and stuff it's like i'm basically plus size at this point i am plus size but i could literally wear small shirts still it's so crazy to me <laughs> matt b thank you so much for the youtube sub i could literally wear small shirts i could even wear like larges in the kids sides like my top half of me like doesn't gain any weight it all goes like in my hips and stuff it's kind of crazy and i don't know how to like lose it there thigh meat is the best part of the chicken i mean it is but i don't plan to like you know get roasted like a chicken anytime too high so like i kind of want to lose it you know <laughs> um gadget said i don't know honestly i'd have to make it to solotar endgame to be sure i know lotra feels more alive to me when leveling and such the lotra endgame still feels dead as heck to me though i won't lie lotra endgame kind of feels dead to me i'm actually shocked how many people focus on endgame content i really am it's it's quite odd to me really because yeah it just seems like i don't know it doesn't seem that exciting to me like everybody seems so hyped for endgame and Lotro, and I'm just sitting here like, I could care less. This honestly seems boring to me. Like, doing instances, raids, and all that, that doesn't seem like fun to repetitively do them anyway. But to each their own. Rappi said, Lotro Endgame is pretty cooked, but the world itself is alive. I feel not sure which matters more. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I, I feel like Lotro is more alive in the way... Like, I think this is the, the fine line between the two for me is if Lotro didn't have such a prominent like music community, like like community events going on, if people weren't doing that uh, often in the community in Lotro, I would probably think Lotro is just as dead as Swotor. Swotor, I don't see a lot of community stuff. And if it is, it's all raids and stuff, which Lotro has that too. Probably Swotor has it more than Lotro, but... Still, I feel like there's something missing to make Swotor really stand out community-wise because, I don't know, they don't really have anything unique in that way where it's like, oh yeah, like let's all like, I don't know, maybe there are role-playing clubs and stuff, but I feel like there aren't any in Swotor I see act active anymore. But I just feel like they're kind of missing something there. Um, the doctor used to send my Space Barbie stuff and in, into Discord Swole Tour screenshots. Sweet. All right, let's check out the doctor's uh, Space Barbie. <laughs> let's figure this out. We need to see it. We need to see it. Hey, Gary. Gary says hello. All oh, weirdos and weird deaths. Hey, Gary. How you doing? Um, holy crap. There's so many screenshots that are loading in. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I love this one look. There's like one look I saw instantly. I was like, Uba looks so good. I'm trying to open them all up right now. You have so many screenshots. This is going to be a win. Okay, I'm just going to show this off on stream real quick uh, so everybody sees it. Um, it looks like you have Scourge, but he's like a captain. Uh, Danny said, yeah, new 12 man raid came out yesterday. People were going crazy about doing it. Right. I don't get that. I personally do not understand that. I'm just like, eh. So what, you know? Who cares? But it is what it is, I guess. Okay. Um. So to start, let's. Uh. This is a doctor's uh space Barbie outfit. All right. So this is one character. I love the style. I feel like I've seen this character around in like cutscenes or something. I love this look. So good. 10 out of 10. Love it. Um, let me zoom out real quick. Uh, this one I've seen definitely Cecile Sean, but like make her dark. I love it. That's my main or Sith pure blood warrior. I love it. That looks so good. Um, Gadji said I loved Gunabats endgame collecting gear cosmetics and the like was uh and the like was run to me for some reason. Umbar just feels grindy and boring to me. Maybe just a me thing though. i I do like the some of the enemies you face in umbar more like um like i've seen that crocodile or whatever um he seems really cool i like that it's more like nature beasts that are more of your enemies i guess and gundabad it just seems like it's gonna be more like a uh, fellow like dwarves like dwarf on dwarf violence i guess <laughs> but i could be wrong uh hive you said um early years of Swator had the vip lounge where people used to party and meet but but beyond afk the central space crap area it's or of uh, the space the central spaceship area it's quiet yeah yeah that's true too i forgot about the vip lounge room dan you said there are raids in swotor how does that work since there are good slash evil factions um 
I think you just play if you're an imperial, like whoever you create, whether you're an imperial or republic. I'm pretty sure you just play with the fellow imperial players. That's how that works. And then um, the way that some of the choices line up, because sometimes there are cutscenes and stuff in those. Um, there are choices that can give you a further light or evil alignment, but um, even though as a group you have to decide, and it kind of depends on the influence that that person might have in the group, which is really difficult to explain. I really don't understand it myself. Um, but it doesn't matter. Like as a group, even if you decide to do like an evil thing, even though you're trying to play like a light side character, as long as you choose to do the light side thing, then that's all that matters. I guess. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, this is the other one. Okay, this just looks sick. Look at all the blackness. This this kind of reminds me of like Black Panther. Like the dark, like it, it's like the dark material, like the jet black look, I guess. It looks so cool. B, you're on a three stream streak. I dug my way to a three stream streak with the official Aubrey the Weird One shovel. Get yours today. Not valid with any other offer. Void when prohibited. Yo, wait, hold on. This freaking reminds me. What the frick, yo? I log in to my freaking Discord, okay? What do I freaking see? Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Hold on, what does what what did it say? What did it say? What was the caption? Yeah, trending on Twitter. I don't even know who this is. They just joined the Discord yesterday. They literally said, is this a Kickstarter yet? And then posted this. Okay. <laughs> Y'all cannot be burying no corpses with my shovels, okay? <laughs> Hi, you said they use a raid finder system like wow, it's all mattered on your gear score. Oh, okay. I'm glad you know Hive because I do not. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Dan, yo, is that new merch? I mean, I guess I can confirm it, right, y'all? There's no way. I just can't. It literally took uh, literally as soon as I logged off, I saw it. And I was like, this took less than like two hours to happen. <laughs> Wait, B, it's you? Wait, you're the one who made it. <laughs> Wait, B, you oh, B. <laughs> That's so hilarious to me. Screaming Eagles, yo, Goldwyn, hey. <laughs> it's like someone mixed Black Panther and Craven the Hunted together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I could see that. I can't believe, B, that you joined the Discord just for that. You were like, here, let me just plop this in. <laughs> the shovel, yo. I can't. Look at B. You know, you're getting the marketing down, though. You know, look at look at you go, B. Um, all right. Um, Hive, you said you were 100% right about the choices made in raid fights, but I think they removed that kind of stuff later on when the game population dropped. Not sure if it brought back. Ooh. Wait, they removed it? They removed it? Wow, sorry, I had to zoom in and I, I wasn't getting the option up here and I was like, ooh, I gotta click on my profile and I can't show you guys my <laughs> messed up. Nice, okay, this looks like Captain Scourge. This is what it looks like to me. Captain Scourge reporting for duty. <laughs> it's Captain Scourge, oh, wrong thing. Captain Scourge reporting for duty. He looks so good though. B, you said I told Ganteron it was probably going to be used as a band shovel. <laughs> Wait, yo, I gotta, I gotta make this a thing. I gotta make this, I gotta make this an emote now, y'all. The Aubrey the Weird One shovel, and then I'll be like, uh, you can use it when you want people banned. Just post a shovel, just post it. This could be a secret thing. Okay, between us right now, chat. Okay, between us, okay? Don't tell anyone. If you want someone ever banned or timed out of the chat, all you have to do is just put the shovel emote and then at their username and at me and I'll know exactly what you mean. I'll be like, that I got you fam. <laughs> That's all. That way you don't have to call them out or anything. You just put the shovel. They'll be like, what is that? The doctor, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the weird community officially. I hope you're having a good day. It was a, it was a primable soccer chest with the shadow purger head. Ooh, nice. 
yeah just post the shovel just post it just yeah just take the emote shovel at their username and then just at me and i'll be like boom i got you so inside between between us y'all it's the ban shovel but the way that you can secretly ban people without you know <laughs> what that actually call them wow i got it it's like a safe word or something <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I love this look so much, yo. I love that hairstyle, man. I love it. It's such a good Sithy look. Um, B. Oh yeah, with the band. Uh Hive, you said uh Sage class plays like a rune keeper. Yeah, I mean, I guess a Sage class in Swator feels so blah. Never got into it. Never got into it, man. Was not a fan. Alright. Ooh! Look at that. Satil, wait, or stale cookie warriors? Is that your name? Your 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 legacy name, <laughs> or your kin, or your guild? Maybe even. What the heck? I like that look though. Last one. Oh, it's so dark, but it looks like you have like like robes going on, almost like a Jedi robe, but you made a Sithy. I like that little amulet, like that belt or whatnot. It's the name of her guild. Nice. Yeah, that's so cool. Doc, the doctor. I love it. I can't believe that was UB that had the shovel. <laughs> well, it might be an emote now, B. Who knows? <laughs> if you don't mind, I might take it for an emote. All right, let's see how our our um our cult is doing. Um, they finally spoke. Detris explained how violent his behavior was destroying the cult. He denied it. Uh, it wasn't until I compared him to Lord Paladis who pointed out the similarity. Wait, we already got this message. I know that we had that message before. He's getting worse. He's actually started forcing people to join the cult. The screen. I'm happy to report the cult is positively thriving. I, yeah, I remember getting these messages before. What the heck? Uh, anyway, okay. I'll just take the rewards again. Thank you. All right, so we need to go to Belsavis. That's what. Oh no 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 no! I forgot. We're working on our class story, but we will get to Belsavis. The point of today's stream was to try to get through uh, Belsavis, uh, and then we could move on to Lotro. But we'll see how the time plays out. Ready for departure. Uh, it looks like we have to go back to Thorthanaton's library. Ugh. I don't like that dude. I don't like him at all. I have a lot to sell. My golly. Ugh. Repside is stale cookie guardians. Nice. Let's go. Warriors and guardians. That's cool though. That's so cool. Yeah, I haven't joined any guilds yet in Soul Tour. Never have I ever. And I've never really been intrigued to. Like, I don't see the big perks you get with it. So I can't really speak much on guilds. But that's cool. That's cool. I got a Diet Coke. I'm going to crack open yo. So good. Make sure you get your snacks ready for today's long stream. By long stream, I mean like maybe five hours. <laughs> Not that long. Um, tomorrow's stream will be so, so busy though. So who's all going to the Walk of Mordor tomorrow? I need a head count. I saw that there were six people who said they were interested on Discord. Uh, we started 10 a.m. EST. That was the weirdest, jankiest looking thing. Uh, yeah, so it'd be a 10 a.m. EST tomorrow. It'd probably go on for several hours. You do not have to stay for the whole several hours. Do not feel obligated whatsoever. Um, but I will definitely be there for the whole several hours. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to eat. Like, I think I'm going to have to go on auto run and then, like, make lunch and then hope I don't get stuck on a ledge or something or get attacked and then eat some food. Like, eat a whole lunch or something on stream. It'd be very exciting. All right, show off thick Vader look. All right, Kim, good talk. Um, <laughs> that's one thing. Okay, I'm uh, Kim is starting to grow on me. I used to talk a lot of crap about him, but he doesn't seem that bad now. He's actually kind of cool though. Just a little cool, just kind of. You could use the auto run and return, yeah. Yeah, I do plan to use the auto return or the auto return, the auto run a lot. It's just a matter of, like, moving and stuff. Gosh, like, how long is this really going to take? <laughs> like, I feel like it wouldn't take long, 
if we were running, but the fact that we're walking, I'm like, oh my god. How? How are we gonna do it? Um, one more picture of Space Barbie, you say the doctor? I'll just look at it on Discord. Oh, library Stop guards! Right there. Sorry, my lord, but you're not allowed in here. Hawk, you said slash follow someone and let them lead you. Oh, that's true too. I guess I could go and follow with someone. That's true. Um, you're not allowed in here. Force persuade. Uh, I have a feeling if I force persuade, it's not gonna work. But I feel like it's the only option. You will let me in. I'm welcome here. We will let you in. Oh. You're welcome here. Oh, it works. Patterson keeps his most useful holocrons on the far wall. Want to go for Darth? I'm sure he would Oh, Nilius Fives, yes. Mr. Shuffle, thank you for that YouTube sub. Welcome to the weird community. I hope you're having a good day. Wow, I'm actually shocked that Force Persuasion worked. Very intrigued by that. I guess I should put away my lightsaber or else they'll think I'm trying to attack him. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, search the library for info. Please don't attack me if I'm just randomly searching your relics here, guys. Don't mind me. It's just an old and musty suit of armor. How dare it be that? Hive, you said Sith Knights are busted and sore. You can bully literally everyone, anyone. Oh. Um. Wait, there's a third object here? Sometimes I try to check the holocrons because it does seem like holocrons will be glowing, but they're so tiny that you just can't notice. You can't tell. But it doesn't look like any of them are selectable. Where's the last relic? What the heck? Is it on this side? Is that why? Do -do -do. Oh, yeah. That, dude, that holocron looking nice. I really wanted to search that, but I guess I won't. Oh! After pursuing many writings, you find volume 2397 of the writings of Darth Vilius. That's a lot of freaking writings. Voices growing more persistent. Must find cure soon. Have trouble concentrating. Have heard of a new species on a planet called Voss. Known to he knows healing rituals far beyond our own. Must go and find out. The ritual is real, but these strange aliens will not share it. Are we going to Voss and not Belsavis? Did I mess this up? They're secretive, private, and they have no respect for the power of the Sith. They worship their mystics and follow their every command. My voices grow louder by the day. Okay, good talk. Uh, view the holocron. Oh, wait. I guess I could actually still select this. Let's research this so I get that bonus. That little bonus quest. I mean, this is like the easiest bonus quest ever. Ooh, descriptions of lightsaber forms written by Tulak Horde. Interesting. Alright, where's the holocron? Which one must I look at? Uh, it says they're here. Okay. I'm so hungry for chocolate chip pop tarts. Oh. Find several holocrons belonging to Darth Ere, Eradius, but only one. Dot dot dot. The ritual I performed was too much power too quickly. I am disintegrating rapidly. I have begun to drain parts of my power into holocrons, though it is only a temporary solution. My research points to a cure almost too amazing to fathom, but I must try and I must succeed. It will require going into the heart of Belsavis, a place so racked with chaos Bell I shudder Savis. to think of going. Still, no time for hesitation. I go now, or not at all. Ooh! Kim Val. Alright, um... Let's go. We have to use our ship's, uh, holocron. Or... <laughs> intercom everything's a holocron to me now what the heck i can literally listen to everything and i'm like oh that's a holocron datacron no it's a holocron i just really want a holocron i guess all right we're gonna go to belsavis ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I was like, when they started speaking on Voss, I was like, no, we don't go to Voss now, do we? I know Voss is coming up, but I know Voss is for sure a 50 planet. 50 plus, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, we are not 50 yet, so... Can't work for us, can it? <laughs> I don't remember enough. It's only been a couple of years since I last played, like, more specifically, or I guess repetitively, but... Time flies, man! All right, let's use our intercom. So basically the whole thing that we're trying to do here is we have like four spirits with us, but um, I think we're trying to get them like disconnected with us, um, but they're they're starting to like overtake my mind in a way um, because we faced Thanaton, we did some good damage to him. He kind of went MIA, we don't know where he went, uh, but either way, it seems like the ghosts are banding together to take over me. Kem Val is still with Lord Zash as well. Uh, the doctor, you said, may I ask what level you're playing on? I'm on a level 49 I right now, so... That look relevant. Looking pretty Excellent. snazzy. It will take some time I love the shot. I to study these. In the meantime, you may want to check in on Harker. Make certain he knows you're alive, and that he shouldn't take any liberties with the trials. Mm, that's a good idea. Stay away from Ashara. Okay, Zash really loves Ashara, and Ashara is so freaking easily persuaded. Meant server, but typed level. Oh, <laughs> I'm on a... Uh... Which one am I on? I think I'm on Satil Sean. I'm on one of the lesser populated servers right now. I would like very much to know how my future apprentice is coming along. I'll let you know the moment I find anything. Okay, Lord Zash. I don't trust Zash, but I think Zash has been very beneficial. Travel to Korriban. Why do I have to travel to Korriban? I just... I just... Oh, I was just at Drummond Koss. Why do we have to go to Corbin? Sash got me running around, doing everything, you know? Why doesn't she go talk to Harkin? I don't even remember Harkin. I don't remember... Oh, uh, Harkin's a, the douchebag who trained us. The overseer Harkin. He's a little twerp. I don't trust that guy. Why, why do we gotta go see him again? I mean, I won't lie, I do kind of like Hargan now because he he's at least not dumb and he does have to respect us to a certain extent. And I feel like he does kind of respect us for taking on all the abuse that he dished out and then other ma Sith masters have dished out to us. So I kind of give him some credit, you know? I think he I, 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 he's not a dumb man, that's for sure. He's not dumb. He's actually kind of clever. But he is a, a power monger, I guess. He's very much like, I want all the power. He's a Sith. That's how I should say. He's just a plain old Sith, y'all. <laughs> Sithy Sith. All right. Um, let's go speak to Harkin. Oh, what level is this person? 80? Dang. And they're an assassin. That's so cool. Man, I can't wait to hit legendary status. On my main account, I'm only, I've only got five of the eight classes. But I made a new account for streaming just now for this stuff, so... I'm basically starting from square one again, which is wild. But we'll get there at some point. We'll get through all the classes at some point. It doesn't really take too long to do that, so... Alright, let's go speak with Harkin. Woo! Overseer Harkin. Man, it's been so long since we last did this. Hyvie said, is your new account free to play? Uh, I did get a subscription, so now I'm a premium. I no longer have that Tweet. subscription. Kaba, dupa, stupa, makingsa. Quiet, both of you. You know your trial. Now go. Hmm. My lord. You just missed the latest trial. As you can see, we have a wild group. All except the human. He was surprisingly quick to die. <laughs> Dude, I actually did have a little bit of high hopes for that human guy. I remember the, the kid that we did see last... I think it was like last two streams or so. He seemed like he had some potential, but he was pretty naive. Um, as long as it was fair good, what a shame. 
I That's think a I shame. Him best. I did. He certainly had a promise. He did. My credits are on the three-eyed one, personally. Uglier <laughs> than my twisted Sith grandmother, but he has a vicious streak uncommon in slaves. Uh, I prefer the bone face. It's a safe wager. <laughs> I'll take that bet. My credits are on the Kalish. I didn't Kalish. know you were the gambling type, my lord. So while you're here, <laughs> is there anything particular you want to accomplish what? in these trials? Many Sith Lords use the Acolytes to gather things from the tombs for them. Uh, I can use more artifacts. Just make it hard. It's up to you. I could use Anything more artifacts. Anything that will help me in my struggle with Thanaton would be appreciated. I think I know something. It's so I'll funny how Harkin's so different. So that you can arrive in time for the results. Like, it's so weird to me how Harkin's like, Oh, I didn't know you were the gambling type, my lord. Or, oh, my lord. Like, he seems so excited to see us. And I'm just like, this dude freaking tried to cheat our trials when we were an apprentice not that long ago. He tried to cheat to have his favorite possibly win. And Zash stopped it. And it's honestly just quite kind of crazy because I could not stand Harkin. And it's like he's just a totally different guy. Like, I, I don't know. It's weird. I feel like I'm being mind tricked or something. Being gaslit to what he used to be. Uh, all right, just sell everything. Sell it all. Sell it all. I'm so tired of getting these stupid notifications, though. I just want to reactivate my freaking membership just so that those go away. It's so ridiculous. All right, let's go. Good enough. Like, ooh, get rid of those. Oh, you're close to the credit cap. Oh, you're close to the credit cap. Oh, you're close to the credit cap messages. It's one thing that does suck. Doctor, you said I told him to make the trials as brutal as possible, like he did with my trials. <laughs> Honestly, I, I could have done that, but I don't like that. I'm a Sith, but I still believe that there should be fairness, you know? He's just trying to make it hard and not fair, which I don't agree with. I think that's a bad Sith mood. You make the Sith look bad that way, but what do I know? Uh, alrighty, let's go get to this intercom. Woo wee! Alright, what else? Zash and I have been looking over the information you recovered from Thanaton's library. Any truth to the rumors there's a big old Republic prison on Del Savas? I heard something of that from Master Ryan, but oh? I don't want to believe it. Unfortunately, Del Savas looks like the most promising lead. Sorry, I smacked my mic. Went there seeking a cure for the deterioration of his body. It sounds like precisely the thing you need. Ooh, okay. Belsavis it is! Well, let's set a course for Belsavis. Forty said anyone else notice the Star Wars aren't pulling their weight in the Star Wars? <laughs> the stars aren't pulling their weight in the Star Wars, yeah. I mean, that's true. What have the stars done? The most I've seen the stars do is in Rise of Skywalker, you know, when Rey looks up the stars and she's like, be with me, be with me, you know? <laughs> it's not really the same. I mean, she did look past the stars even, so I mean, you know, but I mean, I think that was something. Oh, Talos, I don't like this guy. You'll never believe so what annoying. I found. I thought I'd left this behind planets ago. The anticipation is killing me. This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. Okay. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. I thought I'd lost it, but I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. <laughs> Portsy said the stars are providing the uh, Basilisk battle meditation. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's where the stars came in. <laughs> hey, Mai, how's it going? I feel like I haven't seen you in a second. Uh, hey, a good evening to you. You as well, Mai. You built that up way too much. Are you kidding? This thing has more secrets than half the Sith artifacts you own. It may yeah, but they career. can't tell me what's Renowned in them. Renowned Nagasadao scholar Orsilio Gan caught well, wind of it and had me the Rancor Tooth team. can't. 
I've been digging up Sith artifacts ever since. Speaking of which, I have some new findings to analyze, if you'll excuse me. Mel Savage says, good story from OG game. My fake planet is terrorist. Still loved it. Wait, really, Mai? I really don't remember Bell Savis. I'm not a huge fan of the planet, but it's not the worst to me. I really don't remember it, but I didn't pay much attention Lord, to the story. I must ask a favor of you. Our mission. We cannot hope to accomplish it without help. Uh, allies are hard to find. What are you saying? What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we recruit more Jedi to our side. Yes, uh, I know. There are Jedi who would help us. Me and would see that a strong my character are like, girl. Path to peace. Uh, Ashara. It's like as soon as I think she's gonna get it, she just. She's just. She's like a teenager. It's like you could tell them till they're blue in the face. Like leave your leave your crap behind, okay? This is holding you back, and she's just like, but no. <laughs> <sighs> the Doctor, how are the Galactic Seasons going? I'm not sure. I don't know if Gadget's still in the chat. I know Gadget's really into the Galactic Seasons. I don't really pay attention to it. And I don't know what's been happening about it, so I can't say. But I'm sure Gadget could offer that. Uh, Ma, you said, Yavil Savis uh, is Republic Prison Planet. Terrace and Balmora, my two faves. That's so funny. I Terrace, I think I like. Um, Balmora, I don't like it on either side that targruta is too cute lol my you could romance her you know it is it is uh what level of the season are you i have no idea i don't i think i'm literally zero right now <laughs> i've done nothing since the new season came out with this game really been slacking Ter terrace for the nostalgia <laughs> okay i won't lie i won't lie okay terrace is a great looking planet and kodar I like Terrace then, but um, yeah, Terrace now it's like oof, just big oof. Um, who could see that a strong rational empire is the only path to peace? That's not a good idea. Who were you thinking of? Who is she thinking of? I want to corrupt more Jedi. Clearly, you have a particular Jedi in mind. <laughs> Master Simon Walls is known by many as a wise, open-minded Jedi. He brought the Sith Lord Karis Vale to the light and oversaw his initiation into the Jedi. He has retired in seclusion to Alderaan for personal study and meditation, but young Jedi still make pilgrimages to him. I would like to make a pilgrimage, and if possible, get his support. Mm, that sounds suspicious. We don't need his help. How sounds do I sussy. know you aren't plotting against me? I wouldn't plot against you. I believe in our mission. I think Simon will support us. Literally, the I'll last time quickly, we talked to her, she was just like, I hate you. <laughs> but yeah, of course, you're not going to plot against us, of course. Most hated planet is Ilum. Right after that is Corellia. I always skip Ilum. I'm like, screw that. <laughs> Shara, what? I can't believe him. I'm not a Jedi. He says I'm not a Jedi? I mean, you are like, I don't know how else to get through to her. Okay. I just, she is just like a teenager where it's like, how can I get through to them? But I just, yeah, you don't act like one pretty much. Well, you're quick to anger, <laughs> stubborn, and you left your training to follow a Sith. I'm not so sure you are. There's rackles on Terrace. Heck Shut yeah. Up. I'm not a Sith. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I came to him for help and he turned me away. It's not fair. I was the best Padawan Masters Ryan and Ostera ever trained. I am a Jedi. You're not a Jedi, Ashara. You're not a Sith either. I don't think she's Sith. I don't ever really see her becoming a Sith, but she's far from a Jedi. Like, I... I... She's just a Force-sensitive. Why can't we just call her a Force-sensitive? My, you said I'm good things. Spring finally, uh, finally upon us, and I'm spending lots of time outside working in my house yards and cycling around. Nice, my. Yeah, man, it's been so nice out. Like, I've been trying to, like, edit outside on my porch and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, Terrace, Siri, I'm so loud, so I found Epic, the Ebon Hawk, huge Kodor fan. That's so awesome. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I loved, I, I really liked Terrace and Kotor. I didn't realize. Like, I played Swotor, and then I played Kotor later. And when I saw Terrace... Okay, when I heard Terrace and Kotor, I was like, 
oh okay and then it was like oh my gosh like it's a whole new planet you know Rackles are cute, lol. Dude, I won't lie. I absolutely dislike the Rackle event. The thing that happens where you have the disease or whatever and you can actually infect other people. Um, but it's also really hilarious when you can do that. Noah Shar, you are very, you are a very rude, a very rude swear word. You say, wait, what? Wait, what, what are you trying to say, the doctor? I No, not that word. She's not that word. If I'm thinking of the word you're thinking of, she's, she's not that. She's just an attitude -y girly who doesn't know what she wants out of her life. Uh, I'm going to grab a jacket real quick, y'all. I'm cold. Be right back. Be right back. My head. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Swator, Tulak, Junior, Horde, Junior. <laughs> don't really want to curse here, but she's an annoying curse word. Yeah, don't curse, but like, okay, Ashara is annoying, but like, don't cuss at people. That's bad. Don't cuss at people is what I was always taught. Even if they are annoying as all heck. Uh, forget the Jedi. Why do you to the Jedi Order? They will never accept you for who you are. I don't care. I'm a Jedi. Ooh. I've never been anything else. The return of the Sith. You're not a Jedi, Ashara. But okay. Sometimes compromise is necessary. Yes. I don't care what Master Simon said. Thank you, my lord, for helping me talk through this. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's our Tulak Jr. You say tip Tulak Horde lightsaber and Darth Malgus lightsaber and Dark Honor Guard lightsaber with white black crystal recreate dark saber. Well, ooh, that would be cool. I don't know if that's totally accurate, but Ports, I'm gonna cuss her out right now. What you gonna do about it? Uh, get timed out. <laughs> That's what I could do about it. Y'all get timed out. Uh, Maya said we used to do section 10 on Bell Savas for gear when it was max level, but I suppose good to do reputation nowadays. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Forts is like, oh. <laughs> inside words. Yes, inside words, people. Inside words. Yeah, she's, uh, you know. She is an annoying teenager, okay? But don't, it's bad to speak ill of people with cuss words, I say. Calling people B words is very extreme, but that's just one word. I feel like We've people are thinking of other words that are harsher. Good. We'll have to work quickly if we're to find a cure for your strange ailment. We know that a sick called Darth Heratus suffered a similar problem. His power became too much for him, and he began to deteriorate. Deteriorate. We also know that he went to Bev Savis in search of a Rakata device that he believed could fix him, whatever that means. Rakata tech, bro. Rakata tech is like crazy. Every time I see the word Rakata, I'm like, oh gosh. <sighs> Why? Uh, let's go. Great. So, let's get to the surface. Yeah, I'm ready. I wouldn't advise that. Not without a plan. I've looked into their service. There is indeed evidence that the Rakata were here, and that they built some kind of monumental Sesh. prison. The Republic have arrived since, however, and built their own prison. 
Whatever this device is, we'll have to navigate two prisons to get to it. Okay. I'll destroy that prison piece by piece if I have to. I'm ready. Fortunately, that work has already begun. Let's go. The Empire recently discovered the Republic's prison and staged a massive prison break. Oh. Saves us the trouble of breaking in, I guess. Yeah, they're already it haywired. Also means the planet is in chaos, and any trail the apparatus left will have been obliterated. Uh, if he can find it, I can. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't fine. need Darth Eratus's trail. Give me the information, and I'll find the device. Right. We're Sith. We'll figure it out. Or any field experts in ancient alien technology? <sighs> good, but I don't know if you're that good. But while perusing the report, oh, she complimented box, us. I discovered a familiar name. The Circle. A group of criminal technologists Nikto I once employed. They never met a system they couldn't slice, or a machine they couldn't reverse engineer. Perhaps they can interpret Dr. Addis's diagrams on Belsatis. I hope you're right about this. The Circle sliced into an ancient computer system that had the Empire's best failure technologists stumped. You won't find anyone better on Belsatis or anywhere. I bet one of the guardhouses has a record of where they were kept. I've seen my share of prisons. Ugh. You must be careful. Belsavis is a place of unknown danger. Oh my gosh. The dates on Dr. It's the, um... records show his condition worsening. What are exactly. they called? The Akle are here, I think. I think they're the Akle. That's what's so dangerous about Belsavis. They're Akle. Rairu, how you doing? How am I doing? Um, how am I doing? I'm doing alright. I'm getting hungry. I ate... I ate before stream. It wasn't much. But my granny went out to run errands and I'm hoping she went to the store and then if she did, I'm gonna just grab some chocolate chip pop tarts when she gets back, you know? Like, ooh. Frollo and Mary's, I got some sleep. Yeah, I feel better. Um, I was so lazy yesterday and even this morning. I think I slept like 9-10 hours last night. <laughs> I was like, passed out, man. I think it's close to about nine hours, like eight, nine. So I got, I actually got a full night's sleep. That's crazy, isn't it? Tomorrow, it still hasn't hit me that I have to be up early tomorrow. For stream at 10 a.m. EST, like, ugh. I don't even want to work on the story arc, but we kind of have to. Please halt before you proceed to the shuttle. I'm an attache, an attache to Commander Colum. The Imperial Guard, he oversees all operations on Belsavis. I'll have a little chat with him then. He awaits you in the strategy room. They always are waiting for me in the strategy room. And the strategy room was always like right where I walked past or something. My subscriber set has expired. I was all I was all darn it. My subscriber status also expired recently. Frollo Mary said that's good. Yeah. You How you doing, Frollo Mary? My master, the Emperor. He foresees you performing great deeds on Belsavis, and he sends this message. Do not disappoint him. Uh, uh... People call me Lord. You should as well. Yeah. The Imperial Guard speak with the Emperor's uh, command. We he bow still to didn't no call other. me Lord! That said, welcome to Belsavis. This planet holds the Republic's dirtiest secret. A maximum security prison home to the galaxy's most depraved convicts. We've come to free them. Specifically, Doing good, just ate dinner, heck yeah. Nice. Elder Sith who could change the course of the war. Such important prisoners will be under tight security. I can help. Excellent, but you won't be alone. We've deployed a heavy Imperial presence led by five special operations groups. Okay. We freed prisoners and sparked riots. But during the chaos, we lost contact with all five teams. You will need to re-establish contact and, if necessary, relaunch the operation to free the Dreadmasters. All right, I sounds like, like fun. I like the idea of Sith Lords owing their freedom to me. <laughs> Shuttle will drop you at the last known location of Give Operations Group 5. Give me slaves. Find Lord Medisha. She says. Help him fan the flames of the riot. Minimum resources, maximum results. Sometimes these cutscenes are way too long when they don't need to be. Alright, well, fun times. Um, let's just go. Seems like we have to help with the whole prison break situation happening. And then also get the guard. Oh yeah, the card captain. 
yeah, just just seems like I didn't realize how much of this uh, storyline, I guess, on Belsavis was about the prison. I totally feel like I was not paying attention when I was last on Belsavis, so this will be interesting. Welcome, my lord. I assumed Commander Callum sent you to help. Yep. I'm Lord Medishus, leader of Operations Group 5. We started this riot by arming prisoners and pointing them at their Republic captors. But our primary goal Ooh. is to extract certain inmates held deep within the prison. Dread Masters. Commander Callum said they were Sith Lords. Correct. The Dread Masters. They can reach out. What kind of a title is that? I really like it. Their enemies the Dread terror. Masters. Cool armadas surrender to them without firing a shot. The Republic claimed the Dread Masters were killed in the last war. Returning them to the field would be a crowning achievement. I don't know why. I really like this guy, Sith Lord. It kind of gives me some Count Dooku vibes, but like a more... Like... A more masculine Count Dooku? A younger Count Dooku, I guess is how I should say. A more meaty Count Dooku? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a fix on the Dreadmaster's location? The Republic moved them into the deep prison. Ooh, a We've deep prison. Ooh, I can't wait to go in this prison, y'all. Oh! Meanwhile, the Warden brought in a hard-headed off-world enforcer, Ellis Ruger. He's here to close our exit corridor. If the Republic isn't stopped, they'll retake this landing zone. Without an exit, our prison break will fail. Don't give an inch of ground to the Republic. Yeah, we're, we're too trying, good. trying, but the prison guards aren't helping matters. They're hiding behind force fields, and they've just Aww. deployed mechanical peacekeepers. No! These mechanical peacekeepers. have firepower to incapacitate a small army. He looks like me the with... Even Beard is the same? Really? Lost Shire Hobbit, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the weird blood. community. I hope we're having a good day. Our landing zone for us. If a few broken droids will spark the convict's fury, I'll set this riot ablaze. Heck yeah. Impress the rioters with your power and the droids' weakness. Then they'll fight our enemy for us. All right, if you say so, sir. Uh, all right, finally working on some Bell Savage stuff. So, uh, this prison seems mighty, mighty uh, big and fine, and we're going to just absolutely massacre the prison. We're going to do great. We're doing great things here. Um, yeah, I don't know what was up with that Sith Lord's look, but I really liked it. I don't know why. That was like a really cool look. It, I think it was his voice with his look. He looked kind of... I don't know. He just seems so... I, I almost figure he looks like a, like a young Dave Navarro. It's kind of what I was thinking of. It's like, this seems like the beginnings of Dave Navarro's look, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's a big stretch. I don't know. Davy the dance. Dance, dance, dance. Kappa wealth. Ooh. Yeah, with the freaking um, max credit just keep popping up. Uh, all right, I'm going to just run through. Don't attack me or you will die. Oh, I got blasted. It's okay, though. We're fine. All right, how does one play a Sith Inquisitor now? Don't remember. Oh yeah, I have a shield. Forget about that. I feel like Sotor has too many skills now. I always love when characters have so many skills that you get, but now that I've played Guild Wars 2, I just feel like Sotor has way too many when they don't need any. Or at least that many. Oh, I got interrupted! Davies said uh, it was from Jane's Addiction. Yeah, exactly. Small city right between LA and Frisco. Oh. I am dying. I forgot how to play this character completely. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Kim, why aren't you healing me, my friend? See, Kim's trying to plot to destroy me. Alright, um, let me heal up a bit. Okay. 
I need to destroy warden droids, all right? Who do I need to talk to here? Oh, the guard captain. Come on, right. cough it up. Every name, every date, every blasted key. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I, I don't know what you're talking about. The cattle are in the slaughterhouse now, partner. Don't play dumb. Oh, that prisoner list, of course. Right here. That guy is so sussy. Should get song requests, I guess. I wish. Uh, give it to me, release him. I'll be taking that list. Uh, right, sorry, Sith. Y you want the list, it's yours. We'll just be, uh, we'll just be going. Yeah, we'll be getting out of your way. Don't hurt us, please. Okay, that's odd. This whole exchange is so odd. Oh, I'm bothered. You're just gonna kill me like all the others, aren't you? Uh, not necessarily. If you tell me what I want to know, I might consider freeing you. I'm sorry if I don't fall on my knees in gratitude. <laughs> I just hope my family made it out of here alive. But you don't care, do you? What is it you want, anyway? Uh, tech criminals, a group of Nikto. The Circle. I'm told they know a thing or two about strange tech. Yeah, I remember them. Ran off into one of those big vaults a few days ago to do whatever it is they do. Don't know if they're still alive, though. That's fine. Get to safety. You better be right. If you're wrong about this, I will kill you. Like I'm gonna stick around for that. <laughs> Get the first shuttle out of here if I have to steal it. What a guy. Uh, well, I didn't want to kill him just because I wanted to prove him wrong. You know what I mean? Sometimes proving people wrong is the best, I don't know, like, sign of satisfaction. We had hydrate ready, you say? Right, I just, we're hydrated. Whoa, thanks, Davey, for the weird hydrate. Oh! I just smacked my whole desk. You owe me a weird hydrate? Well, I just did it, Davey. Thank you for the weird hydrate. New question. Are we leaning dark or light? Um, I am mostly dark. Uh, but we are only alignment two. Uh, I have made some light choices. So I've made approximately 1,550 light side points choices and 4,650 dark side choices. So, um, more dark, but not totally opposed to line. Not entirely, not corrupt, corrupt dark, we'll say. Not corrupt, corrupt dark, but like just slightly corrupt dark. <laughs> Pretty good, heck yeah, yeah. It's um, it's a fun time. Yeah, I I I didn't realize how many messed up dark choices there were in this game, like messed up. Like I'm talking like uh, Anakin level messed up in Revenge of the Sith. Okay, like stuff like that. That you know. It just, it's so hard to like look at those choices and be like, oh yeah, let me just make them, you know? Go kill Darth Vader. I don't think we're powerful enough for that, that Davy. Let alone, uh, I don't even think Darth Vader was a thought in this uh, time period, so. Oh good, we'll be choking folks and killing innocents. Uh, the innocents, yes. Choking folks, I mean, yeah. Dude, I, I was, I've been electrically shocking a lot of folks actually that's something we do pretty often it's kind of funny um but yeah that's a that's a dark sideness coming out you know oh warden droids i need warden droids um oh. thunder blast Okay, I'll stay in my lane. Bro, you push me away and then you pull me in. Make up your mind. Make up your mind, man. Sticking droid. Oh, oh, I got another droid ready to go. Ooh, nice job, Kim. Ooh, that was like a massacre. Hey, Sky, how you doing? You're a bad guy? Yeah, ports. I'm, I'm bad. My, uh, my room keeper is just so, she's so pure and innocent. I just needed, I needed some. 
<laughs> Fine, Anakin, you say, Davy? No. Anakin's not even alive! Or a thought! He's just there, you know? Dang, I already have to travel back, bro. I'm going to the vault. Uh, you were the chosen one! I'm the chosen Sith, I know, I know. Oh, I can't use my rocket when I'm in combat, dang. Kim, can you just come back here, please? Don't make this more difficult, bruh. Yeah, I don't want to find Anakin. I'm okay. I'm on the side where I don't think I care if Anakin did, if it was really bad or not, you know? I think my side would say that he did the- he did what he had to, you know? There's Bob. Heck yeah. I love Bob Ross. Sith Lord gang. Heck yeah, Sky. Shout out to Bob. Yeah, exactly, Davy. Shout out to Bob. Bob the kebab. How do I get in here? My golly. Oh, here we go. It's over here. Ooh, this is a cool little hanger. I like that. All right, we're finding the circle. They're in, they were said to be in a vault. They don't know if they're alive or not. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I'm just ziggy zagging my way through. Is that... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Dang, I absorbed so much there. He was the first Twitch emote. Oh, he was like the first Twitch emote. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool guy, you know. He deserves it. Oh my gosh, and I have a warden droid on me. I remember t 10 or 12 years ago or so. Ooh. Sky, how you doing today, by the way? I don't know if I... That's you. Sorry if I didn't. Busy work day. Yeah, I do remember the Twitch, uh... The Bob Ross emote. Davey, why are you crying? Forty say so you know that now that Lotro has landscape difficulty options, I'm wishing MMOs had the same system. Oh, me too, man. Man, I used to I used to talk so much crap about landscape difficulty when it first came out, and man, oh man, have I been completely uh, I've completely hit the I told you so section of it. I thought the whole thing was just so dumb. I was like, why do we need this? I don't even know why they would introduce this. And now it's like, I couldn't even imagine playing this game without it now, you know? Like, it just makes up- it makes up so- so many portions now, just so- it makes some of the classes just way better. Just for a smidge more difficulty, a lot of leveling is so trivialized, yeah. It just makes- I don't know, it just makes the game more exciting, more ch like- Almost like a nice challenge, a challenge that you can control. Not too difficult, but not too easy. But it really has helped with me learning my skills a lot quicker now, too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to face all of these droids, aren't 300 I? 300 transistors, 300! Sweet stuff, man, sweet stuff! Hey, what's this? You bring something juicy? Processor chip? Crazy Sith crystal tech? We'll trade for shuttle passes. No, just kidding. We love it here. Some real crazy tech. The droids don't even speak basic. Uh, I need to contain. I need to contain my power. Slicers. Hmm. Are you the ones that call yourselves the Circle? You got it. Circle like circuit. 
Everything is connected. The galaxy is one big machine, and all our cells are like tiny little droids. Hear that? Bzzz. Sweet electrical music. Could listen to that all day. You need something? Okay, they are out of it. Maya you said Source, uh, Sorcerer has the best uh, battle animation, love lightning skills. Also, you can shout unlimited power. Exactly. I know. I do really like Sorcerer. I'm kind of getting tired of my Sorcerer, though. I would like to play a more ranged, like, gun-based gun uh, character, I think, is what I'm kind of craving to do lately. Um, looking for the I'm tech. I'm very sick. And I heard there was some ancient healing technology I'm very to be sick. found on Belsavis. We are That's sick an old in the head. And a couple creepy looking med droids, but nothing ancient. You got details? Literally. That's some crazy looking diagram. But I'm pretty <laughs> sure we can help. Of course, last time we helped one of you, she did something for us, yeah? Freakish monstrosities. Oh. They won't talk to us like that. We are sin. <laughs> That's not your call. Shut up. You're right and shock him. You can can Metal class now. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can. It's so crazy. Uh that's not your call. Sh uh I kinda wanna shock him. But like he seems nice. Shocking. I don't need to take nonsense from you. I'm sorry. Ah, all right, all right. Plus, my life's feeling is to get a basic language chip in my brain. I don't need it fried. This is a state-of-the-art slicing up in the making. Bell Savas security protocols, holonet, we want it all. The vault blows up our signal, makes it huge. Unbelievable. But we need a relay to carry it off world. Go galactic or go home. Go Bell galactic or go home. While we hook in. We'll help you with your mystery machine. All right. This is beneath me, but I'll do it. <laughs> you do this for us. The circle will be everywhere. You won't regret it. I got you. We can do that. It's fine. Kim Val, dude, Kim Val keeps showing his shorts and his abs to me at the end of each cutscene. Like, what is going on, sir? Uh, all right. I'm gonna travel back to this base because we do have that other quest to turn in wow uh yeah boop and a boop and a boop All right, Dave Navarro look the alike. The droids are no more. I hope the rioters took note. So hungry. Have no fear. Thousands of prisoners already move against the droids. More devotees follow your footsteps every minute. Many have died in the process, but that's normal. All in a day's work. Simple. Can I have a powerful ally indeed? Heck yeah. The droids were meant to be the equal of 20. I would romance this guy. Still. We need more convicts on our side. Turn this mob into an army and the Republic will be permanently occupied. An army begins with generals. We must provide the prisoners with the leadership they require. There must be plenty of leadership material locked up here. Break them out and put them to work. Exactly. There's a carbonite storage facility in the intake yards, full of frozen convicts. Oh. Some were rebellion leaders. Others simply murdered every guard they found. We need both persuasions. Sounds, Sounds sadistic, it says. Hey, me. Sass, how's it going? Excellent. I've taken measures to maximize you the benefits of this operation. Oh. Prisoner, what of your mission into the carbon gallery? <laughs> the crisis response unit ambushed us. I got away. Only me. Excellent. Ruger took the bait. Oh. Now you can oh. free the frozen prisoners and wipe out the crisis response unit all at once. I'll be there in but a moment. Destroy the guards and defrost the prisoners. They'll turn. I love how that prisoner totally just heard that he was bait. Then we'll have safe passage to just to extract not comment and walk away. Masters. What a guy! What a guy! 
Uh, all right. Well. Okay. Boop. Oh, wait. My bad. Boop. I'm confused. I'm confused. Isn't this better? Oh, no, no, no. I'm messing it up. There we go. I was like, wait, hold on. Saying that it's worse, but I can't figure out. I'm replacing it with a better one, but it's still worse. Oh, and I have to go in the area. Dang. We were just there. At least I think we were. Um, Hordes say happy Friday. Heck yeah. Happy Friday to Sass. Can't believe it's Friday, y'all. The whole week just fly by, man. Man, next week's gonna suck. I work my other job Monday through Thursday entirely. And I'm kind of bummed about it because that means all the stream times will be at 6 p.m. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But it's okay. We'll get through it. We'll be pros with it. Yep, going back over here. You can't shoot me. Oh no, stupid droid. Help, Cam, I'm dying. Ooh, I need to pop a shield, definitely. Oh boy. All right, I snuck past everybody the last time. I could certainly do it this time, right? Oh gosh. Ah, I didn't do it right. No. And I probably can't answer this if I'm in combat. Frick. Uh, 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 How dare I actually have to fight like the Sith I am? Alrighty, get this patrol man. Right, we got the guard. Okay, we have all but one guard. I kind of want the bonus, but I don't really need the bonus. It's fine. It's fine. We got it. All right, we're in story mode now. Uh, we're going this way. Oh, I did not mean to push him, but I'll take it. Uh, okay. No loot. Hey, Grizz! Hello, everyone, and especially a good fellow Queen Weirdo Aubrey. Oh my gosh, Grizz. How you doing today, Grizz? Grizz, I can, I can actually say you are not the first weirdo today. Unfortunately, it's already been redeemed. You lost your first weirdoness today. I was I was quite surprised. But how you doing, Grizz? How's life been? All right, we did that. I think this is who I need. I think this is where I have to go anyway. But combat just seems so stale in Swotor, man. So stale. I need the stream to crash and I gotcha. I'm about to go clean a room for a meeting. Oh, nice, Grizz. Nice. 
It's so funny. Well, unfortunately, it will uh, not be happening. The stream hopefully will not crash. Uh, oh, I have to clear the gallery. That's what it's. <laughs> oh, golly. Why, oh, why? I mean, yeah, like, I don't know why. My sis sorcerer, she feels kind of squishy. I mean, that is what a support class is, I guess. It's always felt like all of my classes felt so squishy in this game. Oh, now I gotta go up this way. Dang it, even more people to defeat. And I feel like it just takes so long to kill things, you know? Maybe that's what it is. It's just the privilege of, uh, you know, playing in Lotro for forever. I'm feeling way too OP when you shouldn't all the time. I want these salute. I want these creds. Uh, give me the creds. Need all the cred. Wow, it says there's nine players. When oh, an instance and in Armbell Savis. Oof. The downscaling they do with the levels is not my favorite way to handle it. I get why they do it, but I prefer to be. Uh, right, I would prefer that too. Main power is only sufficient to thaw one grid of prisoners. Grid one murderers. Uh, they'll likely kill guards and other prisoners if released, which is what we want, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Grid 2 houses agitators of large-scale protests and riots. They're likely to organize revolts if released. Probably less violence. What would you like to do? We want violence. We need the A violence. Few psychopaths should keep the Republic awake at night. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. I'd be failing my mission if, if we did otherwise. Man, imagine being stuck in carbonite like this forever. All right, rough some stuff up, people. Oh, who's this now? I hope you're proud. Your time on Bell Savis is up. Marshall Rugger. How? Uh, sis, you who? have anything to back that up? Listen close. I've been serving reality to slime like you for near 20 years. So let me make this perfectly clear. You've made a mistake. Time to pack up and fly home. Uh -huh. Me? Make a mistake? <laughs> Does he know us? Like, what's he thinking? You can't scare me off, Ruger. I'm here to stay. I'll enjoy throwing your stubborn carcass in jail. He'll enjoy throwing my stuff carcass in jail, he says. Sorry, I had to check my email real quick. Um, all right. Well, that was, uh, that's a villain, I guess. It's not even that good of a villain, but whatever. Uh, let's return to the Dave Navarro guy. Stubborn stuffed is Monka's. Man. Yeah, what a guy. What a what a villain. He'll he'll so how long do you think he'll live for? Three cutscenes, four cutscenes, five cutscenes, like how long are we thinking here, chat? Be well. He about to perish. He about to perish like he's on terrace. Alright, uh Dave Navarro lookalike guy. Or I I should say baby face Dave Navarro. Looks very baby. There was only enough power to thaw the best prisoners. Three point five cutscenes, alright. I could find. With you ports? The convicts were violent I'm gonna before. say four cutscenes. With psychopaths at the helm, there's no telling what crimes they'll commit. Ruger mm. will not be pleased. 
Uh, I spoke with him. He called to threaten me. He seemed unafraid. Lucas tamed prisons before, even restored order to Coruscant's depths. It's time we end his career. And himself. The only thing keeping us from his throat are the force fields guarding Don't you his price base. is right me. Luckily, <laughs> mad Deveronian prisoner, Golab. Listen, it's four. It's gonna be four reports. I just know my stuff. Golan will surrender the key. He has no choice. The Deveronian may see things differently. He knows the key is valuable. Plus, he's trained in the Force and highly violent. The Republic tried executing him four times. That's when they shipped him to Belsaris. Now, Golan thinks he can't die. He's refusing to hand over the key to Ruga's guard station. This Golan may not fear death, but soon he'll beg for it. Heck yeah! Save your torments Let's for go! This mission simply demands a quick kill and the key in our hands. Okay, I can do that. Golan roams near the resettlement camps, in the open areas where wise inmates leave him alone. Make your way there. The longer we delay, the more likely Ruger will change the lock frequency on the security fields. All right, that's fine. Um, what do I want? I think I want power. Power is everything. All right, both things are power, so it doesn't even matter what I want. Um, that's what I want. Boop. All right, small influence, not worth giving it to Kim. Moderate, though. Take. Do water, John. Okay, I love that. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, why do I have Kim out anyway? Why don't I use someone else? Wait, why am I not doing crafting as well? What the heck? Let's take out a Shara. Maybe we can convince her. To join the dark side. No, she's just gonna hate everything we do. We'll take Hi. out Talos. He's not too bad. Hello. I mean, he's quite boring, but like, he could be worse. Uh, what do you want? You want luxury? I'll give you luxury items, bro. That's quite the gift. Yeah, take Thank a large you. influence one. That's take a moderate one, even. Thank you. That's quite the gift. You know, typically, I try Thank to give you. it to them when they have large or moderate. That's quite the gift. Thank you. Moderate. Amazing. Amazing. Splendid. He's just so overwhelmed That's with all the, the gifts gift. I'm giving him. Thank you. That's quite the gift. Thank you. That's quite the gift. Thank you. Amazing. Unbelievable. Amazing. Splendid. That's quite the gift. Thank you. That's quite the gift. Thank you. Amazing. I don't know why that cracks me up so much. It's just the Splendid. way he's saying it. All right. Well, actually, thank you, sir. You helped me a lot there. Uh, wow, we got him up like three ranks from that. Uh, Shara, I guess I could I'm ready. see what she wants if she wants anything. Ashara absolutely hates all of our stuff. I need Get out of here. She doesn't even like when I try to give her gifts, man! What kind of a girl doesn't like getting gifts? Alright, let's go to this access key area. Man, I was really hoping to get through uh, Balsavis today, but this is taking a minute. I just want to grind through it all. Yeah, because my plan is to basically wrap stream up in like three hours. So I'm trying to see how much time we have before we have to switch to Lotro. Probably at two hours and 30, we'll switch to Lotro. So it'll literally be half and half. Half the time in Sotor, half the time in Lotro. Just can't believe how time flies so quickly when you're having fun. <sighs> Alright, let's go get this key. This key, key, key. Ooh, somebody out here. Ooh, who is it? Show me your name. Ooh, it's a martyrer. Level 39. They're a little low level to be out here. Ooh, something I need up here. All right, is this really where the key is? Just out in the box somewhere? 
Oh my gosh, I'm being ambushed. So you're Gulag and you think you're invisible. Pretty much, I guess. Ooh, stunned. Back up. Oh my gosh, she went Speedy Gonzalez fast on me. I had to work for a second. How many cutscenes have there been? Absolutely zero. But zero cutscenes with Rugger. So far. Haven't even haven't even run into the guy. Alright, have to use a console. Dun 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 Pepe set, you're so sad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, it seems like he's gonna be, like, our story, like, his story will pretty much be, like, our main, uh, villain, I think is how they're trying to set him up. So it might be a second. Alright, uh, let me use this console real quick, sir. Pardon me, thank you. It's done. I have the key to the security fields. We must strike quickly. Before word of Golan's death spreads, Ruger is finally vulnerable. If you're ready, we can end his campaign and secure this landing zone. Oh, for wait, we actually might get to him right now. <laughs> Tell me where this lawman is, and our problems are over. Ruger and his men are in a Gosh, guard my station. neck. Might have to the put on my keypad. More than the main intake building. Use the security key to drop their shields. My teams will cut off Ruger's backup. No one gets in, no one gets out. Heck yeah. Don't give you time to work. Just make sure Ruger doesn't escape. All right. I've been waiting to get my hands on Ellis Ruger. His men know Ellis what to do Ruger. In Any shock we cause will wear off quickly. This is his stronghold. Bring everything you have and every ally you trust. We will get no second chance. Okay. They keep hyping it up like this guy is like big boss in town, but he's far from. Oh, we're level 50. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all level 50. Yes. Bro is donezo. I mean, donezo donezo. Is there really not any other speeder areas in Belsavis? Is it really that small of a planet all over here? Like, there's only- there's only one... Like, map! I don't remember it being this short of a planet to run through. Not at all. Like, there's only two speeders I see. I mean, there could be something else up here, but... That's highly interesting. Like, I thought that there's like a hot- Oh, wait, no, there's a little bit more, but... Still, there's not much more. Interesting. All right, let's go. Let's go see Ellis here. One. No, wait, that's not even one. We're, we're talking about Ruger here. Okay, the the villain guy. We're talking about Dave Devaro guy. It's way more than four. Look at the world map in the bottom left. Oh, that is a fair point to do too. Oh. I see. Okay, yeah, that's a lot, lot more. <laughs> I was like, dang, is Bill Savas that tiny? I've been proven wrong. I'm glad you mentioned that, Ports. Like, I know about the world map, but I just forgot, you know? It'd be like that. I accidentally keep hitting the wrong numbers on my keyboard, and I'm living for it. The guy is actually walking into being electrocuted. That's not how that you're supposed to do that, sir. Da -da. Wow. I love my little rocket, man. I'm glad. Alright, this is the guy. Marshall Ruger. 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 That's who we're looking for. Keep getting his name wrong. 
order of the Imperial. No, oh, don't push me back. Don't push me back into more enemies. I see what you're doing, sir. Oh, I see him. I see him over on the right here. Oh, get me out of here. All right, here he is. This is one. Well, now, there's two ways Where'd you can leave, ass, thank you. Cuffed down or feet first. Uh, you got it backwards. I'm walking away from this. You won't be so lucky. Feet first it is. Thanks for the weird hydrate. Well, I guess this is going to be our, like, second cutscene with him. And it's probably the end. I think, I, uh, Ports, I think we both lost. I think we're both lost. Corby, how's it going? I saw you went live yesterday and I was trying to stop by, but I got too busy. But how was your stream yesterday? Either way, I'd be off LMAO. Yeah, me too. It's okay. We're, we're bad. I thought we were cut. How many cutscenes in his quest line until he's dead? Oh! Not how many actually appears in. Oh. Well, if that were the case, I think it was. I think there was one when you were gone. So this would have been three. All right. And Ultra this would be four, Get maybe. Or this could be the 3.5. You know what? You were close, Ports. I give you A for effort. <laughs> You're awfully eager to die. Corby no, was I'm good. Played some Helldivers too. Sure Spread that managed democracy. Ruger. <laughs> I'm in Ellis Ruger. This is Warden Grawl. Nice. How are you liking Helldivers too? I can't reach your position. What's your status? Uh, he's dead or will be soon. Yeah, let's intimidate him. Roger that. This is Ellis Ruger. Wish I could help, but I'm busy dying for a worthless cause. Dang, Over. why is that actually a good accent and impression? You're not Ruger. What's going on? Wait, I've seen you on our cameras. What do you want? Bloodshed. My only desire is to watch your face as I do this. <laughs> I didn't even dis oh I was gonna say we didn't even slice him. Thanks for the pity points. Fine, Ports, I won't give you any points. You get nothing. Three stream shit, Corby, thank you. It's a ton of fun. Good player versus enemy game, fun to play with friends. Nice. Well that's cool. That's cool. Always gotta love that. Alright, let's go back and talk to the Dave Navarro guy. Uh, yeah, a lot of people have been talking to me about Helldivers 2, and I just don't see- I don't see the appeal, for, for me personally, but I'm glad that other people are enjoying it. Do you require medical attention? Keep your worthless currency. Yeah, I, I will, Ports, I will. You'll- you'll want it back, you know? It'll be too late when you're like, man, I'll take the- the pity points, okay. They're weird pity points, which makes them cooler. What the heck? That was a rare occasion. We had half their numbers and still handed them their heads. Heck yeah. They must have been furious. I can only imagine Baby -face the Dave Navarro snuffing out his life. It's not as if it was fun. I mean, it was fun. Yeah, I'll never understand that argument. But at least we can agree that with Ruger gone, our landing zone's finally secure. If you'll excuse I me, wanna duty calls. I want to with this guy. I must reestablish contact with Commander Callum. Okay. Corby, it's from the vibe of friends. Come One friend got really finishes. upset. I kept securing I'm all the here, samples Commander when he died. Then he could have collected. Work? They all get the benefits from any sample anyone collects, but he wanted to bring them home. Kind of reminds me of Lethal Company in a way. Captain Van Dorn must be I don't reached. know Dave Navarro's face, so I googled it. Wow, that is dead on. Good call. <laughs> yeah, it's like a young Dave Navarro. I mean, he's definitely gotten older now. He's changed up his style, but yeah, he's from Jane's Addiction. But man, dude, I had such a crush on Dave Navarro, y'all. It's such a crush on him. I was like, that's like my, like, damaged boy that I would have a crush on. <laughs> I can fix him. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know why. I just, I really like, and you know, I don't even like listen to Jane's Addiction or anything. I really just know one from, um, what was it called? Like Tattoo Wars or whatever it was. There's like a couple dozen seasons of it out there, but like tattoo, I can't remember. Ink Masters. It was Ink Masters. That's what it was. No, it's just a competition of tattoo artists trying to win and whatever. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, thank you. Yeah. He played a bit in RHDP. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. I But yeah, his face. Uh, yeah, I, I just see this guy and I was just like instantly. Yeah, the, the voice is very different, but you know, um, yeah. Leave this mission to me. Lord Medicius will guard the rear. I give the orders. But yes, you are best suited to meet the Lost Operations Group. Oh, that like guy's sword is not coming in. The hologram. The hologram. I almost said the hologram. Captain Van Dorn was last seen Aww, in the high thanks security. Thanks for the raid, man. But be wary. The Welcome in, raiders. Hello, hello. Hey, Jules. How's your stream earlier, Jules? Are you still streaming? I don't want any of these. How's it going, Coffee? How was your stream, Coffee? Big shout out to Coffee de Pastry. The, uh, another, um, dwarven lady, uh, character, we shall say. <laughs> it's like our little trio, Coffee, Jules, and I. Uh, how's it going, man? How was the stream? You're playing Lotro? We're probably gonna switch to Lotro here in about 15 minutes, actually, so. Don't go away just yet, y'all. Get your Lotro fix soon enough. Uh, but right now we're just playing a little bit of Swell Tour because it's been a it's been almost three weeks. Oh, I'm sorry, almost a month since I last played Swell Tour. I was like, well, I should make some progress. We got to level fifty. Uh, Jules rated me, but my stream is broke, so we decided to share the love over here. It's oh no, wait, does it is it your internet coffee? Is that what happened? Don't tell me it's the internet. Or I ran into coffee in a stream. It's not working thing. I'll be our bot also just in a stream and cooking. Yeah, no worries, Jules. I hope that's your stream as well. Uh, well, what were you trying to play, coffee? Oh, you just got an ad thing. The Dwarven Lady pick on your YouTube thumbnail is nice. I know! That was made by Ganteron. I think he- I think Ganteron has like an AI little thing he's putting together. And he keeps just making the most randomest of stuff lately. But man, I love that pick. It looks so good, so... That thumbnail will forever be in use. There's just too much. Oh my gosh. I'm on fire! Back, welcome back. How was your stream, Coffee? Like, what were you trying to do in Lotro? <laughs> Jetpack, I came back from lurking and Aubrey is on my screen. Well, apparently, if you were in Jules' stream, she just got done streaming. She went to Coffee. Coffee is having trouble with his stream. So then he raided us over here so hi jeff pack i think that's how it that's what it sounds like anyway brooklyn accent you say pour coffee coffee mm -mm -mm. hello jeff we just keep teleporting you to new world right well this is swell tour but we will be playing lotro here in 15 minutes or so once we hit two hours and 30 minutes on the stream i'm gonna wrap up the swell tour stuff and then we'll get to lotro because i do need to do my spring fest stuff today a coffee you said I was just trying, trying to do some festival stuff and deeds. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I gotta do deeds, yo. I'm my Slayer Deed Accelerator. It's still got like two hours on it. Dang, that that is a cool creature. That's really cool. Yeah, I do need to do that. Ryber, you said I like skillets songs. Shrillix, you mean? Or skillets? Actual skillets, you're saying. <laughs> like stuff you'd make eggs in or something. Coffee, yeah, my internet was working fine the last couple days. Today it's just dead. Download is fine, but upload is like three. Wow, man. That's absolutely bonkers. Three. My dwarven lady, yeah. Jules will be on stream um, for Electro Lady Night on Sunday, so that'll be exciting. Mikey said Ganteron is a genius, bro, yeah. I'm so glad he's back from his vacation. It just felt so weird not having Ganser on, you know, being a fellow weirdo in the streams, you know? He's just so creative. I don't know why everything is just attacking me right now. 
Danny said you should tell the raiders what exciting thing you are doing tomorrow. Woohoo. Oh, the walk to Mordor. Yeah, we're doing the walk to Mordor, everybody. 10 a.m. EST. We will be starting in Meikle Delving from the Shire and going all the way to Mordor. It's going to be very long and exciting, but it will be worth it. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to do great. We're going to do great. Um, wait, the prison break's actually back here. Even I didn't know that. The prison break quest. Let's go. I miss the games round two. I know, Julie, too. Coffee said I will if it doesn't get better. Oof. Yeah, that's so bad, man. I'm so sorry you're going through all that. Jetpack, I'm so on the fence about how I feel about this game. I want to love it so bad, but no, I'm with you, Jetpack. I took a break from this game once I lost my membership, and I was like, I'm not even going to renew it. Like, I'm good. I, I don't know what it is about the game. I mean, I we were just talking about this earlier on stream. We were like, uh, is this game going to die? You know, like, it, it kind of seems like it's almost in a dying phase, you know? In some regards. Um... But I, I was saying, like, if you would have asked me, like, two years ago what I feel like would be in a worse state, like Swotor or Lotro, I would 110% be like, oh yeah, Swotor will be here, no problem. But now it's, like, the total opposite, where I'm like, Lotro actually seems like it's in a way better state currently, and will be around a lot longer than Swotor, but we'll see. Speaking of Gantron, he made me 100k redeem- Wait, he actually did though? Wait, no, seriously though. Okay, I'm literally saving up all my points, bruh. I'm saving up all my points for that redeem. It just sucks, because every time Gantron goes live, it's always like 3 a.m. for me. I saw he went live last night, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm literally falling asleep, so I can't- I can't tune in, because I'm gonna pass the freak out. And if I say hi, and then he starts talking to me, I'll be like... Ugh. Like, I'll be sleeping, uh, uh, soaring, and... Uh, yeah, so I, I would have, like, double the points than what I actually have got, but... The band Skillet? I've never heard of the band called Skillet. I just keep thinking of Shrillix. Now that, I'm like, I know that, but I've never heard of a band named Skillet. Now I want- now I want skillet. I want a skillet. Like, I'm saying that like it's food. I want like a skillet to make some eggs. Eggs sound so good right now. Leave it on a lurk. Alright, Jules. Thank you. Uh, Whispers in the Dark is a pretty good song. Okay, it sounds like everybody knows the band Skillet but me. I'm literally like in my own life here. <laughs> Wow, Skillet dances. That's like a late 90s, early 2000s hard rockish band. Oh, I totally knew that. Yeah, I totally knew that. You know, I, I totally heard of the band Skillet. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. That sounds so familiar. Uh, no, I, I have absolutely no idea what the band is. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a minute for Skillet. Apparently. Apparently, B. I don't know what's going on. It's been a minute for Shrillix, even, man. Do they even make music anymore? I don't know. I, did, I can't even remember the big song. Like, in the like mid-2000s or whatever that came out for Shrillix. Dubstep. Oh yeah, that band. It's in my Spotify playlist, says Aubrey. Yeah, totally. Honestly, it could be, and I just don't even know Dan, alright? It could be. It actually could be, though. Do my Spotify playlist... It, so I made my Spotify account, I think, when I was seven. And I still have my same old dang playlist. So that playlist is like... I, 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 it was something. It was definitely something. Definitely something, that playlist, um, to say the least. It was pretty cringe. Like, it, it's like, imagine all these Disney songs, um, mixed in with electronic. Like, um... 
Oh god, where were some people that were on there that are electronic based? There's a few. Ah, uh, this game, you say MMO Sky, how you doing? I know, right, Swell Tour. <laughs> we're about to play Lotro here in a bit. Aubrey, you have throne, yeah, your birthday's coming up. I don't have a throne account, Jules. I was just talking about this yesterday. I was like, I need to make one because I it's like I never knew about Throne until I saw that you had one, Jules. And you were talking one day how you were how you needed a monitor. And I was like going through your stuff and I was like, I might get this girl a monitor. And then literally, um you didn't have one up there. So I was like, okay, I won't. But like ever since then, I was just like I've seen them all over on every creator's account now. It's so funny. Monster, I think I have like one. Maybe. B said I listened to Black Sabbath Lady Evil yesterday from the 70s. Would not expect you to know it. Okay, listen. I know Black Sabbath, but I couldn't tell you a single popular song of theirs. Um, yeah. Jetpack Black Sabbath, what a throwback. Okay, I don't know rock and roll stuff at all. Okay, that is just one music category it's like that and like country that like you could probably tell me like the most famous songs and i would just be like i have no idea who that is or what they've done account a throne account is that what she said yeah throne account it's basically like an amazon wish list for creators so like people post like what they want and then like you know you could buy people's stuff but um yeah i, I don't like to do that kind of stuff personally because I feel like I'm just asking for so much, but then some of the stuff like you, Jules, I was just sitting there and I was like, yo, this girl should not be streaming on one freaking monitor, okay? <laughs> like, we need to get Jules a second monitor. Jules Quest here literally streams on one monitor, okay? Let that sink in. She plays her game on that monitor. She has Discord up on that monitor. She has Streamlabs going, or, or OBS, one of the two. I don't know what you use, Jules. On one monitor. That is like, how? Two monitors minimum. I never, I, I was someone who always played on one monitor, but literally when I was like, oh, I want to start streaming, I got a second monitor because I was like, I need two. I feel like two is a minimum. But Jules, Jules, you have Streamlabs? Yeah, Jules only has one. So we got to get Jules a freaking second monitor, y'all, okay? I will put together, like, a GoFundMe or something. <laughs> like, we need to, we all need to just pitch in some money and get her a second. Because one is just, that is, I don't know how you do it, girly. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jules, I want to get a birthday present. Okay, here, this is the best pres- uh, almost a Christmas gift. This is the best birthday gift anyone could give me is that hopefully I'll have the merch out before my birthday. If y'all just want to support and get merch, because then that way y'all are getting something from it. Plus when you wear it out, then like people will probably ask you like, what the heck is that, you know? And then you could spread the word and that's like, and that's a great way to support. That's all I ask for. If I can get it out in time, I'm working on it. B said I was lucky enough to see Black Sabbath in 2008 with Ronnie James Dio out front and Sabbath with Ozzy out front in 2017. Oh, that's cool. I don't know who Ronnie is, uh, but I know Ozzy. But I couldn't tell you a single a single thing by Ozzy. <laughs> I couldn't tell you a single song. Um, Danny said Aubrey wants good tasting water and new internet. I would love to have fiber, but I don't think I don't I don't. Uh, Y'all would have to pay for a new house for me in order for me to get fiber, and that's doing too much. So uh, I, we're not getting fiber. <laughs> no fiber internet uh, for probably years. B, you said one monitor, pro level difficulty. Exactly, exactly, B. I'm like, what? Goldwyn, I'm on 1080p monitor, lol. Oh my gosh. Wait, copy, you use one monitor too? Technically, I use a second computer to look at my chat. Wait, what? How the heck are y'all doing that? How? Damn, that is a new challenge for the stream. We got the walk to Mordor, so next is the second monitor for Jules. <laughs> we'll make it a community challenge. <laughs> so if we get it, Aubrey buys Jules the second monitor. <laughs> Jeff Hack, you said two is minimum, three is comfy, four is ideal. Four is ideal. I think three is ideal. Three, I think, 
I'm over here sitting here like, damn, I might need a third one because every day that we do like Ultra Ladies Night or even like Dwarven Ladies, it's so hard for me because I got the game up on this monitor. This monitor, okay, that's why I always look over here. It, it's literally YouTube chat is closest. So like YouTube chat is like, okay, like this is the second monitor, okay? Like YouTube chat is right here, okay? Then it goes like, all the Twitch stuff, like the bitrate and all that because of so many issues we've had where I, it's like, I don't even know if stream's going down and only Twitch will tell me. So I have Twitch like minimized here, like two small windows. It's like YouTube and then Twitch bitrate. And then the rest is like Streamlabs OBS. But then you try to add Discord into it and Discord, I want to see like when my mic is on or not because sometimes I'm talking and then I'm like, oh crap, I was muted. So it's like it's like this. It's like I'll have YouTube chat and then Discord and then the Twitch stuff and then I'll have the Streamlabs. But it's like, it's just way too much and it's all way too squeeze. And then like some things won't even, if they're too small, they won't even like squeeze in right. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> I need three monitors is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm at the point where I am thinking about getting a third monitor and having a vertical one for Twitch chat and then seeing all the other stuff further. But the first thing I need to do is buy a new desk. That's for sure. And this desk is effed up. Like, I, I know the moment I decide to tear this desk apart, it's no longer fixable because I could not... I, I like, had to super glue pieces in, building it up this time, and then also I had to, like, drill bits in. So, like, once I take this apart, it will not be reusable. So I do need another desk first because I do not have enough space. Like, my space is so tiny. It's, like, I don't know. It's, it's tiny. It's tiny. Corby said that's insane. I have three, and I'm, like, I could use more space. Exactly, Corby! I'm the same way. I'm, like, I have two, and I feel like I need more with three. Jules, you say merch? Yes, heck yeah. I'll make commands in my stream when you get merch for Dwarven Ladies. Aw, Jules, thank you. Uh, B, you said Dio was easily the best frontman I've ever seen. Plays no instruments, but man, what a storyteller. Heck yeah. Cop, you said the only reason why I want a second one is because of the games. You can't check the volume when you tab out of that. Oh, yeah. But I don't really want to hook up a second one with my setup. Wait, why not, though? Like, what do you mean? Do you have, like... So I'm assuming you have one monitor, but you're saying you have a second computer? So I would assume you have two monitors then, right? But you're just running two different rigs? Is that what's up? Dan, you said play Lotro blindfolded would be an experience. I used to have a blindfolded uh, channel point redemption, Dan, but it got so boring because I'd blindfold myself and then I'd be running around and it'd be like, Oh, I don't know where I'm going. And then it'd be like three minutes of me in like a corner. So thanks for the lurk, Goblin. Uh, B, you said Aubrey, 50k channel redeem. Play Lotro blindfolded for 10 minutes. Y'all, I'd be running in a corner for like the whole time. I don't think you guys want that. Jules Quest, he said, make a throne and add a desk for the community present. The community can get it together and help. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm very... I have to decide what desk I want. I'm very particular about desks. I'm very particular. Very particular. The second monitor... Like, when it comes to monitors, I'm like, I could care less. Like, give me whatever. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'll take whatever's cheap on Amazon. And then I remember when I got my new rig, my... The person who was doing it, he was like, I am literally begging you to get new monitors because the stuff I had was not good enough for like, like my rig could run so much good stuff. And he was like, I'm begging you, literally begging you to get new monitors because your monitors is like, why even have a new rig? So I got a few, neither of these monitors I got, did he recommend? Um, but they're a little bit better, but don't tell him y'all, okay? Copy, I have a 55 inch TV, which I use as my gaming stream monitor. Okay, then I have another computer that I watch a chat on. Otherwise, I would do it on my phone or something. Wow. Dang, copy. Do a TV. Sounds cool, though. Um, wow, man. Dude, okay, so copy and jewels. We got to get them both. <laughs> Second monitor, y'all. Corby, I did shiny hunting blindfolded at one point. It was something. Wait, really? Oh man, I, I need clips on that, Corby. Send me the VOD. Jules, you say, yeah, I put a desk in there. You put the things you like in there. Yeah. Yeah, you pick which specific things and people can buy them for you. Okay, cool. I don't know. I feel so weird doing it, but I, I, I will. 
I will, y'all. Okay, I will. I really do need to update my panels. My panels used to, there used to be a lot. Like, the donate button I took away. And I've thought about putting it back, but, like, I don't know. I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. Um, the co, the, the ko-fi needs to be, or the coffee, that needs to be, um, updated. Uh, I need to update the videos even on the panels. I need to update my about on the panels. I need to update the games we played because some of the games that we played aren't even in there because I was migrating into the website because there is an Aubrey the Weird One website out there <laughs> that I never use. Uh, so I do. I need to update some stuff, y'all, on the panels. You can add snacks you like or really anything. Diet Coke. Wait, I can add Diet Coke in there? Fuel the addiction. Yeah, I feel weird about all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I remember us talking about a coffee. I, I, I totally get it. Like, I don't know. Like, I used to have an Amazon wish list thing that had all that stuff. And I didn't want it to appear like I'm, like, asking for things. But, like, yesterday, it was like Gantron was like, oh, I want to, like, because I was talking about how my Lotro subscription was coming up. And he was like, Oh, why don't you have a donate button? And I was like, well, I mean, I guess. Like, <laughs> like I mean, uh, yeah, like, why don't I? Because it's like, I don't have enough on Twitch, I guess, like between subs and cheers. But people want to go around that stuff sometimes because of the cut from Twitch. And so it's like, OK. And then and then he realized that he could do a super chat on YouTube because someone else super chatted. Um, but still, then they take their cut. So it's just like, I don't know. I, I realize that everybody wants to help. And so I'm like, well, if people are asking, like, I guess I could just put it there. But like, I don't want to actively promote it, I guess. that That's my thing. If I were actively promoting it, like, guys, check out my wish list. Go buy me stuff, please. Like, I would feel so, I don't know. I would just feel so, like, icky. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be like, buy me stuff or else. <laughs> like, no, it's just, but if people want to support, like, I don't want to say no, you know, <laughs> like, you know, there are things that I need to upgrade stream stuff. So like, it'd be helpful. Um, this is a while back. You say Corby. I don't know if there are any clip. No coffee. say like, I think people should do it, but I don't feel comfortable doing it myself. Yeah. I'm the same way. Coffee. Danny said, hypothetically, if you did make an account, what would you put on it? Asking for a friend. Well, I've put diet Coke, the sparkling waters for sure. Uh, I do need a new desk and monitor. Um, I guess like a third monitor, but that would come later. Um, I don't know what else. I do want to add more to the background of streams, but I haven't gotten there yet. I don't know. Could you add games on there? I'd add games on there. There's so many games I want to play on stream. I, but honestly, I shouldn't actually do that because I've got a huge list right now. <laughs> we still got to play Elden Ring. Okay. <laughs> um, Jules, you said, I tried to do some research when I was setting up stuff and what I felt comfy with. Girl, it's your birthday. Ooh, that's true, though. You could ask Elden Ring. See, okay, that one I feel weird about because Elden Ring is a lot more than what I anticipated it to be. So I could, and I, I wasn't really expecting it to still be like 60 bucks. I thought it'd be like 30, honestly, like 30 to 40. So that it's like 60, I'm like, oof. But I mean, I set that goal up myself knowing that that was gonna be the charity goal. So I almost feel really uncomfortable being like, I set up this for charity and I that was my commitment to you all. So to ask for it, I would feel kind of scuzzy. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm like skimping out on what I stated I would do for charity. So I'm definitely buying Elden Ring. And I, now I'm in a point where like, it's not a big deal because I was just waiting to get paid from a client. And now, now I'm good. Get a job, Davey. Okay, Davey, I literally work like three, four jobs. So <laughs> the problem was for me was that I was not getting paid from any job until literally last week. And then I didn't even cash any of the checks until this week. So I finally have everything sorted. But it was like a month of not getting paid whatsoever. And then I was just sitting there like, well, I need to pay bills because the bills are coming up. But it's all good now. It's just a lot of waiting for other people to get 
checks because uh, people, gosh, the one job I worked, they entered in my shit wrong. So PO'd about that. But then they paid me early the, for this past week, so I was like, oh, okay, well, you paid me a day early, so it's okay. It makes up for it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then a client took a while, but then they finally got back to me, and then, um, but they were going through some stuff. I was pretty flexible with that. And then, uh, you know, and then Twitch and YouTube just take a month, so it just is a lot. Epic, you said I hear romances in the air with Swotor. Yes, the date nights, Epic. I love the date nights, dude. They're so awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, guys, we have to switch to Lotro now. It's two hours and 34 minutes, actually. I'm going to turn in this quest, and then we'll switch over to Lotro. Uh, Coffee, you said it goes on sale for 30-ish sometimes, but not sure when. Yeah, I saw the Steam sale. The Steam Steam Spring sale was going on, and I was like, oh, I can grab it. And it literally wasn't on sale. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Uh, Jeffy said, I bought Elden Ring and now it's sitting in my library rotting. So many games, too little time. Uh, right, Jeff. Yeah, Gantron bought me Shadow of Mordor. I'm like, well, frick, now I have to play it. Like, if people are literally going to Steam gift me games, I feel so bad if I don't play them. So <laughs> I needed to play it. So uh, that's on my list. I said I was going to play uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Gosh, I bought BG3. Still have not touched it. Plan to play it this year. I have no idea when that'll happen. Uh, we have to play the Shadow of Mordor game. Uh, Elden Ring for sure is the end of the month. I want to play Tomb Raider in May. I want to get through a lot of those games because that's when the anniversary is. Is sometime in May for Tomb Raider, I believe. Um, you do your W2. Wait, what? Play WoW? I'm not playing WoW. That's far from Jules, yeah. Yeah, my W-2 job was actually the job that screwed me over the most. That was the job I was expecting to get paid because you get paid bi-weekly. But oh my gosh, bro, they messed up my account stuff. So that's why it took me like a month to even get paid from them. It's like, how freaking dare? Danny said, so I get you don't feel good about asking for stuff or your community knows they are not required to get you anything. And if they really want to, they'll do it on force. I think of it like this too, honestly. I think this was what my mom told me one time and it kind of stuck with me. She was like, if people want to support you by donating like money or whatever, don't feel uncomfortable about that because think about the things that they probably, if they don't support you, like think about other things that they'll probably spend their money on anyway. And it's going to go to like, corporations and stuff the people that don't really need more money let's put it like that and i was just like i guess that's kind of true like <laughs> like i guess it's like it's almost like it's almost like it's just like the mindset of do you want to support a big business or do you want to support a small business and i guess in a way this kind of is like a small business so um that's just one way to kind of look at it Jules, I love the shadow games. Dude, I was looking at the screenshots, okay? Because I hadn't looked at screenshots. Dude, that game looks nice! That game looks nice! I was like, dang! Like, this is, like, a really nice-looking game. Jetpack, don't play WoW. It's a black hole of exponential proportions that makes Lotro seem like a blip in the MMO universe. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Our prop propositions? Or... or pro I can't, I can't read, I, I'll give a B, you said, so you're planning merch, you should see if there is a way where if you live and instead of donating on Twitch or YouTube with the super chat, for example, they get a cut, uh, where they could get a cut, people could leave a merch message in place of super chats where you sell the merch and viewers get merch all while cutting out Twitch and YouTube's cut. Uh, I don't know, just spitball on here. Well, are you saying... Instead, uh, should see if there's a way where if you're if you're alive, I'm sorry, if you're alive and instead of donating on Twitch or YouTube with the super chat, for example, where they can, where you get a cut, um, probably a command and place a super chat or where people could leave a merch message in place of super chats, where you sell the merch and viewers get merch all while cutting out YouTube's and Twitch cut. Well, here's the thing too is like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The way that the the cut for merch would be, it's honestly, I probably make more per selling based on the prices I want to do. I probably make more from a Twitch sub than selling a piece of merch. Okay, <laughs> like that's how low the cuts are. 
is what I'm realizing because I, that's my thing right now is that like I pretty much have most of the designs in place. I got to fix a couple things. I want to add more to them. But right now I'm just trying to decide which place I want to go to. And I'm trying to figure out how much they want to charge, like how much I should charge the birch. And I don't want to make it too expensive. Like $60 for a hoodie is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. So I'm trying to make it like... I don't know, like 40 bucks or so shirts. I want to make like 20 bucks or less than that if possible. And it's like, if I want to make, if I want to make it those prices, it's like a $4 cut on my end, you know, because then the merch suppliers and all that, they always got to take their cuts. So it's like, it's so little. <laughs> so I don't know. It's an idea, but it might actually be more beneficial. Be like super chat because YouTube's cut is like, we'll take 30. And I'm like, great. I'll take the 70. <laughs> Thanks. We're an entertainer, so yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, I got logged out. <laughs> I was too inactive too quickly. Or too too long, for too long. I'm going to log back in just so we do that cutscene real quick, and then we could go to Lotro. Dan right, buying stuff for you is kind of like donating. Just there, buying stuff rather than giving you money. Yeah, I feel better about... I really do feel better when you guys get something in return. Like subs and all of that i think are pretty beneficial because you get emotes and personally i love subbing to people so i get their emotes i like i like the emotes a lot so i feel like you do get something with the emotes but even though i'm not a big fan of my emotes honestly but it, it is what it is i gotta fix it but anyway um yeah and then you you don't have to deal with ads when you watch so i think it's like i think it's like pretty decent but um yeah, if, like, people want to hit, like, the donate and, like, PayPal or something, that is where I get, like, uh, you know, because I'm, like, I feel like you're not getting anything in return, you know? <laughs> like, I guess the return is that I keep doing what I'm doing, but at the same time, like, I don't... I also don't want people to do that because then I feel like it could be, like, oh, well, I already donated to you, Aubrey, and I expect you to stream even more because I'm trying to fund that for you, and then I, I would just get more stressed. Epic is said EQ2 has a time lapse server coming for June. Uh, I may take a look at it, maybe checking out. Merch, you barely make money unless you sell like a hundred a month. Yeah, merch is so low. It's so low, guys. It'd be like, I'll be happy if I make like 20 bucks selling merch, okay? <laughs> I'll be, I'll be helping. That's like five things sold. If we could get five people to buy some merch, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. <laughs> like, it's really not for the money. It's just because I know you guys have asked for it. And I really don't like making merch at, like, like I don't know. I feel like making merch at, like, my level of only having, like, less than 2k follows on Twitch or less than 3k subs on YouTube. Like, I feel uncomfortable doing that. But people keep asking for it. So I'm like, well, I mean, clearly there's a demand for it, so I will make it work. So, yeah. The return is you do it, you do you and streaming. They appreciate what you... Uh, what you do and want to support you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right, guys. You're right. You guys make me feel a little better. I'm getting more perspective. All right, let's talk to this I guy real quick. The then we'll switch to Lotro. Guess we owe you some info, huh? That diagram's ancient alien tech, all right. Never seen it in my life. But Grokan saw something like this part here in the Republic Labs. Bio. There's rumors of the kind of crazy stuff those aliens built deeper in the prison. Advanced AIs, self-healing droids, living cities. He said this is some kind of healing device. I can kind of see that. Hard to say, though, without a scan. The Ricotta freaks built some twisted stuff. Do I actually need to go and, like, research shovel distributors? Because I will. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Rolodex is, but I've heard of it. Dumpster for shovel distributors. Jeez. I can't with you. <laughs> what was the place your friend said he saw it? Shovels. The public labs. Aubrey the weird one you shovels. Coming to you we today. Can get you a better idea of what this thing is and how it works. Here, data chip. It'll reprogram the Republic security droids in the area to open up the lab so you can get in and scan the device. I appreciate the help. You find us this piece, we'll find you the mystery machine. No question. Take this with you. It'll let us analyze the Ricotta Prize without you having to drag it back here, yeah? Just watch the prisoners in the area. They're meaner than most. Good talk, yo. 
Um, ooh, smack my mic again. That's what I need too. I need a new mic arm. That's what I need. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, and another light. I do need that, but I have no desk space for any of this. Um, Dan, I'm surprised I didn't teach you all about this in esports class. I mean, <laughs> yeah, not really. It's all about the history of esports right now, you know? All right, where do I need to go? Oh, it's undiscovered? No. Uh, honestly, my best bet might just be to leave this place and then make my way. I want to make our way to the next camp over so that when we log out, we're in a safe place, you know? Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. They attacked me. I'm running. I'm rooted. Jeffpack, you said if you actually have a Rolodex, I'm, I'll be impressed. I could see like garden shovels, like trowels. That's what that's what it looked like B sent in the Discord. Yeah, B actually went on the Discord, y'all. And put a picture together. <laughs> and it looked like a very like a trowel. It looked like a very small shovel. How else would I know which direction to aim my smoke signals? What? Jeez, yo, I can't. I just can't, yo. Oh, my companion got killed. He got destroyed. It's fine, though. We're just gonna run through here. I just wanna make sure I can be in a safe spot for the next time we play. Yeah, I don't really play Swell Tour a lot lately anymore. Um, I've really fallen out of it. Uh, the only thing that really keeps me wanting to play it is the date nights in Swell Tour because yeah, they've come they've come up with date nights for your companions, and this girl has not romanced anybody yet. She's single Pringle and she's loving it, but man, I do want to check out those date nights. It'd be a lot of fun. You're ancient, you say B. How ancient are we talking here with the Rolodex? Now you have me looking up Rolodex. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I've had a few of these. I just didn't know that what they were called. In most cases, the new organizational Rolodex is the Excel spreadsheet. Mm, I wouldn't call it like that, but... Rotating card file device used to store a contact list. Yeah, I used to have one when I was a little younger, and I used to put a lot of info in it. But I, I, I technically, I think I technically, in a way... Rolodex predates cell phones? I don't agree with that comment at all. Wait, what? The spreadsheet comment, I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't either. I was like, that's weird. To say it's almost in comparison to an Excel spreadsheet. I'm like, for anything, it's just like a contacts list. But uh, a lot of the Rolodex stuff I have... My granny still has one, y'all, by the way. <laughs> my grandmother still has one. Um, it's literally sitting on her desk. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Um, all right, let's 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 flip over to Lotro. Gotta give me a second. Um, but yeah... Um, that's that's cute. I know, right? It is cute, man. Oh, my Grammy. Gotta love her. Yeah, I mean, she still has... I mean, she, she's she got... She's got one still. <laughs> that's so funny, yo. Um, but yeah, I used to have one because she got one for me and I used to use it occasionally. When I was a youngin. Eh, eh, eh. Sorry, just updating the title. I'm so excited to stomp some shrews, yo. Shrews for days. Shrews for days. Mm. There we go. Okay, well, Twitch is updated. Now to update YouTube. Boom. Boom. B said, I might have a son your age. Wait, really, B? Do I have to say how old I am? I feel like my age comes up so often anymore. 
Um, give me one second, y'all. One second. Do, do, do. Lord of the Rings Online! Hopefully Lotro didn't have any updates. I don't see why they would, but knowing my luck, yeah. Patty, hey, how you doing? Jules are doing festival stuff in Crick too. Wait, really? Need to join y'all. Uh, okay. YouTube is updated. Now it's time to... Open up Lotro. <laughs> Jeff Pack said, bro, you ain't that agent. We're the same age. Wait, Jeff Pack, you're in your you're 40? Jeff Pack, you looked I thought you were like 36, 37. I wouldn't have guessed you were 40. And I thought 36, 37 was like kind of like a higher age range. Like if you would have told me you were younger, I would believe you. Like a thousand and ten percent. That's kind of you to say. <laughs> Dude, some people in here, they're always like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I'm a youngin and they know, or because I'm Gen Z, or I don't know. But it just seems like every time where people are like, oh, I'm so ancient because you're so much younger than me. But I'm like, that's not really, that's not the case. A lot of people aren't ancient. My 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 uncle cracks me up though, because he always says he's prehistoric, which is technically true, because he's like, yeah, I've lived previous histories compared to other people. But if that's the case, technically we're all prehistoric to someone. So, <laughs> like, oh golly, we're prehistoric, y'all. Everybody in the chat, admit you're prehistoric. Go. <laughs> Jetpack, wow, that's kind. I do get that a lot, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you just, like, you look a lot younger. I'm actually shocked by that. Like, there's just some people, I don't know, there's some people in life who I've met where I'm just like, how the heck? Like, my, my one friend who I worked with, she's in her 50s. Yo, I remember when she said she was 50, I was like, there's no way you're 50. You are actually lying to me, though. And I remember she was like, no, dead serious, I'm 50. To me, she looked like she was, like, early 30s. And, like, easily, like, 34 at most. And then when she told me she was 50, I was like, say again? Like, she looks so young. She looks so young, y'all. And then I remember she used to tell people that she was 50, and then the funniest response was someone said, they were legit like, I do not believe you. Pull out your driver's license right now. So she had to show her license for them to actually believe her. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? B said Jetpack is the pick of destiny. It maintains his youthful complexion. Yeah, that's what it is. We all need the pick of destiny, I guess then, huh? Maintains his youthful complexion, yeah. Oh man, I'm a little concerned. The 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 saying that everybody told me, like every adult told me, was that if you're when you're young and you're pretty, that means when you get older, like when you become an adult, you're gonna get ugly. And I was like a young pretty girl, we'll say. And I kind of agree with that. I feel like the more I've gotten older, like the more my face doesn't match along with my look, I guess, as much. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but I was like, I could kind of see it. I was a lot cuter as a youngin, but you know, stress just, uh, you know, it got to my got to my under eyes, y'all. So <laughs> tiredness is paying, you know, harsh effects on my face. No, it's okay. I'm totally kidding. You're way too hard on yourself, Aubrey. I know. I'm being so, like, extra, okay? <laughs> You're so cute. Thank you, Joel. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not trying to fish here. I'm not fishing. I'm not fishing for compliments here. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, 
that was something that people used to tell me a lot but i could tell you from other people i've seen grown up i'm like dang like some people in elementary glue up y'all like they glowed up they glued up i can't with myself i'm a mess today <laughs> fish on you say me what kind of how do you have some of these emotes be like where are you getting these emotes dan i don't know i am older but i ain't <laughs> oh my gosh you ain't ugly we'll say uh no like some people it was like that was the thing that my mom always said she was like she <laughs> i think it was my mom or my dad or both they were like no if you date someone like in your young age and they're they're not the most attractive just wait because they'll probably grow up and they'll be attractive and then it goes the vice vice versa so <laughs> according to that knowledge dan that would mean that when you were younger you were <laughs> not as attractive as you are now i guess <laughs> <laughs> but these are just this is literally just people just saying stuff to say stuff you know Jules you're not I'm just saying oh is Jules flirting with me IRL now like oh <laughs> it's happening Jules uh Antle you said I mean uh can you be cute when you are one and a half feet tall one and a half feet tall okay if I were like one and a half feet I'd I, I don't even think one and a, I think this is one and a half feet, okay? This, my whole my whole look on the camera, okay, right now, it's probably one and a half feet, okay? And there's no way I'm actually one and a half feet, yo. Someone slap Antle for me, please. Dan, you said, well, I wasn't Brad Pitt when I was younger. <laughs> Dude, who was, okay? <laughs> that's the small tour romance, yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Jetpack, you said B just goes around Twitch subbing people for emotes, emote farming. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Wait, who is this? Is this Jules and Coffee? Who is that? Bill Grider. This gotta be Coffee. They're a hunter. <laughs> this gotta be Jules, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or, I'm sorry, that's gotta be Coffee. It's Jules and Coffee for sure. Yeah, B, like, what the heck is that tongue emote? I actually, I actually kind of want to make a tongue emote like that now because it just looks so weird to me, but I love it. <laughs> Kavi said, Jules, like, I'm right into Aubrey's beard, dwarven lady, right? <laughs> the intense stare. We look dead into our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> OMG. Kavi, a hunter must hunt. Yeah, apparently. The hunters never stop hunting, according to Coffee's, uh, you know, Coffee's, uh, quotes. That emote makes me uncomfortable. Exactly, Jeff! That's why I like it, though! <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable, but, like, it's only in a way of, like, oh, wow, this would make me very uncomfortable because of how people would use it. But, like, if you don't think of it like that, it just looks like a weird freaking emote where you're like, why what did you have to make that, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm eating some pies, yo. We're eating some good pie. Ooh, the blackberry pie looking a little rough, man. Gooseberry pie wasn't too long. Thanks for that lurk, Goldwyn. Yeah, I do kind of want a, a licking pie, but I, a licking pie? A licking emote, but I don't know. That seems odd. A little too odd. The animation is so... Hit hypnotic though i i know right that's what it is i'm like i can't stop staring at it and on the pizza like now i just really want pizza you know that's what all of this is showing me is that it's just showing me i really want pizza i mean the animation is very smooth right <laughs> it's just i want to know the context of why they have this emote that is it a hunter must hunt <laughs> Hey, that's coffee. Oh, and you're in the dress. Getting ready for Lotra ladies. You're keeping up with us, man. All right, I have to do this. I'm sorry, but fish slap and then hug. That's the that's the way it works here. Order pizza. I, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm really hungry. I've been waiting for my granny to come back from the store so I could, like, help her put away groceries and then, like, inhale, like, everything. 
Uh, so yeah, you got a fancy new dress. I'm not gonna lie, that dress is like hella great. That's a pretty dress. Oh, look at coffee, snazzin'. Aw, I can hug back. Look at your little headpiece, even. Dude, coffee's got the looks, yo. Heck yeah. Show it off. Even with those muscles, look at those muscles in that dress. Dang, even your bow is rad. I like that bow a lot. Oh my golly. Dude, coffee's bringing in the looks. I like this a lot, coffee. You gotta keep this look. We're talking way too long about this tongue emo. I mean, yeah, Jeff, but like we could talk longer, you know? <laughs> we could just keep it going. So about that tongue emo. <laughs> Wait, even the cat emo kind of looked that. That cat emote's so cute. It's a good dress. Yeah, how'd you get it? Wait, let me look. Let me look what kind of dress it is. I'm assuming from the Spring Fest, yeah? Dang, how many emotes are- or I'm sorry, how many outfits you got? Wait, do you have all the outfits unlocked? Wow, I really like that dress too! Elf Queen's dress? How'd you get this dress? I want this dress! Oh! Oh yeah, this is from the Spring Fest, yep. I really like that. Did you dye it? Doesn't even look like you dyed it. Dance break? Alright, we can dance. Coffee, you want a dance break with me? We'll dance together. I don't know what kind of dance we should do. I kind of want a dwarf dance today. Ayy! Oh! Ayy! Oh! I should go and, um... I should go to Thorns Hall and do the dance. You guys think? I do need my last dwarf dance and then we're complete. Until I got six mounts gifted at some point, so... But it ran out now. Uh-huh. Dang. Six mounts. Holy crap. Yours was gifted randomly this last week. Dang. It's one of the festival ones. A white one is from the store. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I've never seen that white one before. Man, everybody's jamming to the dance stuff. Heck yeah. Dude, I love this. It seems so chaotic, but it almost seems like we have a rhythm together, even though our dances are so different. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Dance break. Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Pack, you said question. Is there actually an elf dance leader for this festival? Waking and Spring Fest inductions say there is, but I can't find them for the life of me. Yes, they are in, uh, what's the word? Duldian? I can't say it. Uh, not in Keladin, but the other place for the elves. Um, they, the dances, you'll only get the quest for them every 20 minutes. So, you might have to wait the full 20 minutes, but... There is a dance leader. It's right by like where the shrew stomping cave is. It's right like uh, a little bit down. It's like down that hill. Yeah, near the stable, but lower level. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I keep running into the elf maiden there, but um, you know. Oh, I was looking inside the cave. Yeah, it's not in the cave. It's right outside. All right, I have to leave coffee. I'm going to go to Thorns Hall and see if I can snag that. Uh. The last dwarf dance I need. So I bow. Thanks for being my dance partner, friend. Aw, uh, I'll give you another hug. Uh, friendship! Where's Jules at? She's missing all the fun. Oh, she's in the maze. Dang, you guys are right out there. We gotta go say hi to Jules real quick. Hold on. Alright, I got the I got the sergeant. But yeah, Sergeant Tom. Quite cool. cool. Uh, I guess I'll do the wine real quick. Also, I think I'm gonna have to contact Lotro support, guys. Because um, this this deed that I had, I completed it in an instance, and I had it um, on my quest tracker while I was in the instance. Um, but now that I'm outside of the uh, the instance, it still shows that the Slayer advance is completed, but I can't take it off of my tracker. So I think I need a contact support. I was hoping that it would like refresh after a day. But I don't know if anyone has any tips to get rid of it. Like, uh, it's... I can't... I can't undo it at all. <laughs> it's just stuck on my quest tracker. It's taking a slot. Uh, do Lucky know where Shrek is? Wait, what? What about Shrek? What's wrong with my boy Shrek? I will defend Shrek. He's life. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. You guys remember that? <laughs> Oh, how I've missed Shrek. My boy. 
Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to contact Lotro support about this. I broke my game. I broke my quest tracker by putting the quest, the deed on my quest tracker before I went in the instance, while I was in the instance. Oh, yeah, it was Dolian. Or Dolan. Do, 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 Dolian. Dolian. Do, 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 yeah. Oh, you heard Dulok? Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, it's not fine though. It's not fine. Get this off. And it's locked too. And, and that's the problem too. It's locked. Which means that I specifically added it to my tracker and now it's locked. So it won't go away automatically. It'll stay there. Da da da. It's like. Dweeland or Du Dooley or Dweeland? 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 Is that how you say it? Melon? <laughs> Sulian Melon? What? Doyland? 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 Something like that? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jules is like, huh? <laughs> me too, Jules. Me too. I'm just gonna say Doyland. Doyland? Doyland? Do... 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 Doy... Do... Doyland? 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 Jin, did you try right-clicking it on the tracker and tell it to remove? Wait, I can do that? <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you could do this! I didn't know this! I didn't know there was any of these... What? Bro... <laughs> Can't even track nearby quests, bro? I did not know! <laughs> Thanks, Jinjar! Holy crap, you taught me something crazy today! What the heck? Oh, Jules! Hi! Jules! I'm saying hello! I give hugs! Jules got such a cute outfit, too. Why are my friends so freaking stylish, yo? Oh, she gave me a kiss? I give kissy back. More hugs! Uh, a new opera tutorial incoming? Yeah, I have to write this down, really. I really do. I never knew that. Ginger, thank you so much. Ginger is like, duh. <laughs> B, you said dwarfs must translate for dwarfs? I guess so. I just come back to Dwylan. <laughs> Wait, why'd you make me fellow leader? What? Uh, quest tracker. Uh, right click. More deets. <laughs> Probably read that back later. Like, what the heck? Come on, pen. Close! There we go. My pen likes to act up. It's a pen that we made that one day on stream. Still got it. It's my handy dandy pen, but it doesn't like to close all the time. Dude, I'm actually shocked. I never knew that. Did everybody else know that? Or was I the only one who did not know that? Yeah, I don't know about this. Like... Yeah. Actually, though. One of the few things I did know... Wait, really, coffee? <laughs> You're like, it's one of the few things I did, though. <laughs> that makes me feel like I'm slacking, bruh. You're like, I didn't know much, but I knew enough, and that was one of them. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Wow. Questing dad's in the maze right now, too. Wait, really? Do I need to run through the maze real quick? Hello, friend. Say hi to Can everybody. Well, I mean, I'll come back, I guess. I don't know why I'm 
I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna see them or something. Didoom. 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 It's just so funny. What a small world. Do, do, do. Oh, there he is! <laughs> so funny. <laughs> like, oh, there's Godsting Dad! Man, I just run into everybody, man. Wait, isn't it? Uh, Questing Dad must be off. I was like, wait, is Questing Dad working? I keep forgetting it's Friday, and then I keep forgetting that everybody's at their day job still. But then I forget that sometimes people have Fridays off, and I'm like, I was not, I did not have that gloriousness. Voice of the Rings! I need to, I need to talk to the Voice of the Rings, because... I feel like I run into so many people who are part of the kin, yet I just don't even watch the channel on YouTube at all much, so... I just need to show my support. Whitbert, I kind of like that name. Jaja. Are we allowed to post clip links? Yeah, you can't be. Greetings, friend. All right, I'll come back to this. I just want to check Thorns Hall and make sure that we can get that dance if possible. I don't know how long we have to wait. We might have to wait a minute. <laughs> no! <laughs> you just have me try to pronounce the town name as a clip? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Voices are, uh... B said, didn't want to get timed out. Oh no, you're fine. Yeah, you could post clips uh, or links in the Twitch chat. Uh, YouTube, you'll probably get modded or you know timed out with the rings is just a great guy I love watching his videos and live streams yeah patty i don't really follow his live streams i don't really follow too much about him unfortunately not too much not too much doylen do do d wait <laughs> i love it doylen do 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 doylen Doylen. I heard coffee pronounce it once on stream one time and I was like, oh, that makes so much sense why it's pronounced like that, but I could not tell you how we pronounce it. Doylen. Dolly? Wait, Dolly? Dolian? 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 Isn't it Dweeland? That's what everybody. Dweeland. Dweeland? Dweeland? <laughs> You say DMT, you're probably right, but can I buy rep items and transfer them over to another character? Ooh, that's a good question, Patty. I don't know. I would play it safe and say probably not. <gasps> oh, wait. Uh, wait, is the dance act? Oh, uh, the dance not happening. Where's the dance at? Who who would give me the dancing quest? Okay, that's in league. The Ale Association wants to recruit me. Uh, okay, well, there's a vendor. I guess we could do an instance because I could get some more festivity tokens. Not like I really want much, but I could save up for it. Oh, the dance leader's right here. Do 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 do. A little look up a dolly. Oh, I know what a dolly is. <laughs> I didn't realize that's how you spell it. I thought dolly was like D O L L Y. I thought that's how dolly was spelled. Or D, D O L L I. Isn't it Dweeland? Okay, it's Dweeland. It's Dweeland. So I say it like that. Dweeland? Dweeland? Dweeland. Dweeland. Land. 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 Dweeland. That's how you say it? It's by the bar. The dancy dwarf. Oh, okay, it should begin in a few I minutes. Let's go. Heck assistance. yeah, man. I'm ready. Glad we didn't do an instance. Oop. No, a dolly? Yeah, I know. I, I, wait, a do is it a doily? Are you saying that? A doily? It's a fancy piece of fabric. It's usually crochet. Oh, I don't know what that is then. I thought you were going to say dolly. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce anything, guys. Okay, just give me all the hardest words in the dictionary you can find. And I'll try to pronounce them and make a fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, you'll probably, I'm probably gonna look this up and be like, yo, what is up? What is going on here? Usually like a table setting thingy. Oh, okay. A doily? It's an ornamental mat made of paper or fabric. Protecting surfaces or binding fabric. It looks like a tablecloth. I My granny has some of these that she used to have more so than now, but... I didn't know that's what they were called. See, I always called them like hot pad holders or <laughs> like... Oh, uh, what are those called? Like Santa... Not like a centerpiece, but like... I, I gotta ask her what she calls them. Because there was something else we used to call them. As our ancestors used them, we say, be Okay, listen! <laughs> My granny was someone who liked to use that sort of stuff, okay? So I just know it from her. My granny likes to... Um, She's very sentimental to her things, and my mom and I are very, like, not as much as that. Or such, I guess. Bilbo has one in The Hobbit when they first come for dinner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my grandparents did as well. Under a, fa a fancy, a cute fancy teacup. See, we always put them... Um, we just put them in the middle of, like, our dining room table and it would go like it would basically hold like the big dish like we pretty much have them for like easter or thanksgiving and then it would hold like the pork or like the turkey or whatever we don't have teacups it's probably why i don't like tea really <laughs> we don't have teacups or really tea in the house it was always iced tea and it was always like stuff you buy in bottles it wasn't the same Hobbits use them, <laughs> hello mayo. Gosh, you guys are teaching me so much today, you know. Dweeland. Dweeland? Dweeland. 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 Dweeland, I don't know. Something or another. Alright, I'm ready to dance, sir. Can we get your dancing shoes on already? Chill. Well, if anyone's in Krakalo and needs a dance leader, um, now, because it'll probably be 20 minutes before he, uh, does his dance again. Yeah, all he said was that the dance may begin in a few minutes, but didn't specify a time yet. So you got time, you got time. Jules has acquired two spring leaves! Look at you go, Grilly. Getting those spring leaves. Uh, yo, yo, yo. I should figure out what I need to get from my collections. There's so much I need. So many mounts. I should see how many Chilotro points I've got. It's probably like 300. I saw shared storage was on sale and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? How does the game just know? Yeah, inventory slots are on sale right now. Tempting. And then it's like shared storage is on sale too now. And I'm literally eight points away from being able to pay for that shared storage like how dare they know i'm trying to save for river hop it and they keep just giving me they just keep giving me more sales that i need oh i've got to take her here let's go uh patty shared storage was on sale yes yeah, shared storage um inventory slots are on sale and vault space is on sale. Uh, I don't see wardrobe on sale though. Let me check if that's not accurate. Wardrobe should be on sale, I would assume. Wardrobe is not on sale. Wardrobe is not on sale, but shared storages, vault spaces, inventory slots are. Very intriguing. It's very interesting. Oh, look at you go, Jules. Oh, Jules. Oh. You missed it. Dun 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 dun. No, yeah, you missed. I'm sorry. Yeah, the way that it used to be for these dances, I never did them because they were way too difficult. 
Now it's like you can just spam click them and it's way easier. I'll try to go to Doylen. <laughs> All right, good luck. Oh, I twirled. Patty, is shared storage and inventory storage account wide or just per character? Uh, inventory should be account wide. Shared, I'm assuming, is account wide. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, Sally, how you doing today? Silindwin, si si right? Is that how I say it? <laughs> I was on Instagram and I was like, yeah, I should say, it's just saying Sally. I should say her actual name. But I was just like, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> but I, oh my God, I almost missed it. Oh my gosh. I'm too busy talking. I almost missed it up. But, um. Yeah, I was like, but then I saw the pronunciation on Insta and I was like, oh, okay, that doesn't sound too bit bad. And until you say account wide, all of them, I got you. We'll dance again in 20 minutes. Yeah, the Brie one is so nice because in Breland, when you do it, you literally only have one brief pause and then you just spam click and then you just have to wait forever. I, at your service. I think I need just Dwarf Dance, the first one, but I have Dwarf Dance too. Yeah, I have the second one, but not the first. So first one it is. Let's go. Okay, I think I have them all. Oh yeah, I should go out this way. Make it easier on myself. I keep forgetting about this way. You got an ad while you were talking to me? No. I was just saying, Sally, I was like, oh yeah, I should stop calling you Sally, because I'm like, I feel like I should actually pronounce your name like correctly. And then I was like, I feel like everybody else can, but I can't. And then I saw on Insta, like you broke it down, the pronunciation, and I was like, oh, OK. I forget. I need to start taking that shortcut more often. I always forget about that. Um, I think it's it's I it's I no, you call me Sally? Okay, I'll just keep calling you Sally. <laughs> I'm like, this is too this is too hard to say, okay. It's too hard for me. Snowgar, you said how the heck do you how the heck do you know how to do that? I've tried multiple times. Click the icon next to the quest when the NPC say and it says I failed the quest. So honestly starting to think it was supposed to fail. No. No, honestly, I don't I, you just have to pause. Um, and just make sure that, like, you don't... Sometimes you can fail, like, in that case, I should have failed, because sometimes if you're already dancing to something previously, it will say you fail. But now it, it's, like, way easier than it used to be, so I think that's part of it. You just gotta spam click it. DMD said, been watching Sally's stream, she's amazing. If you don't follow her yet, check her out. What DMD said. What DMD said. Um, uh, my mom even calls me Sally. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. My mom calls me Aubrey, so I get it, you know? <laughs> Gosh, man. Man, when my mom calls me by my actual name, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. It's like, what is this world? I forgot the last I forgot. I think her, her boyfriend called me by my actual name last, and I was like, you do not have the authority to call me by my, my name, bruh. <laughs> that is just not... That is not okay. <laughs> hey, hi. What did you miss? Uh, well, apparently I got slapped. Where's Q? Is Q around or is it questing dad? Which one is it? Who is slapping? I hear it all over. Who's slapping? What? <laughs> I'm like looking from the rooftops like who is slapping? Who is doing it? Dude, I'm going insane. I'm actually going insane. What is going on? Wait, who's that? Who's that? That's... That's Antle! My Antle! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come here, you. I'm gonna run you over with my... With my... With my horse. <laughs> my stick horse. <laughs> Bro, you were just, you were just hiding in plain sight, man. <laughs> I couldn't see you. 
Did you ever have the NPC targeted? Oh, yeah, that's important. Yes, make sure you target the NPC because you will fail if you do not target the NPC. Yeah, what did you miss? How you didn't miss much? I still have the maze quest to go. Um, I'm going to do the in league one real quick. So I said, yeah, I didn't even do the first one right. The NPC just says we start now and I click on the icon and boom, quest fail. I've tried multiple times. I just try. You have to do that. OMG, OMG, OMG. I'm so glad you said that, Jinjar, because Snowgar found out what it was. I'm going to try it later. Yeah, you have to make sure that you have the, the dance leader targeted. That's so funny. I'm so, I really hope that that fixes that for you, Snowgar. <laughs> yeah, that's very important. I know, that's something I wouldn't have guessed either. I'm like, okay. Oh, wait, I should do deeds. I only have an hour left of my accelerator. What am I doing? I need to stop doing Spring Fest quests and actually do some deeds real quick. Um, I'm going to take off the Shire one because all of these are just the posts and the pies now. And we can do that without the deed accelerator being on. Where should we go and slay? Where should we slay some things, y'all? Troll Shaws, we haven't even started. I don't think any Slayer. I need trolls and worms and crawlers and whites. I need to start there too. Misties, we still need to slay. Problem is, I don't know where to go for some of these to slay, you know? Evan Dim's totally done now. Ingmar's done. For Kel, we could go to two. Oh, I already got two slayers of Four Kel done. Oh yeah, we did that yesterday. I remember. Uh, Four Kel has started. Aregia, we could go to Aregia and slay. That's not a bad one. I know where some of these are. We haven't started any. Ooh, yeah, that's perfect. I know exactly. Yeah, we're gonna go to Aregia. Cardolan, yeah, I haven't gone over there yet. I don't own uh the Lotro. Uh, I still, I still, I haven't. Hello bought there. the expansion for Before the Shadow, so I still have to do all of those. What deeds are you gonna do? I'm gonna go do a Regian Slayer. Uh, troll shot deeds are a pain. The area is so hard to get around. I know! That's why I'm avoiding it at all costs. Like, people said the White Slayer, like, there's only one area for the Whites, and they're so far north. And I did notice, and I was like, oh my gosh, you're so right. There's such a pain in the Batuskeets. It's just one of many places in the game that I love. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I bet coffee perked up at Forakel. Forakel is so pretty. I don't like questing in Forakel, but um, I do think it is a beautiful place to go. Snowgar, you said if you're still alive when I try it, I'll let you know. Yeah, please do. I, I want to know. I want to make sure that that's the... Uh, save uh, Snowgar from all that frustration, you know? I used my discount 30 on Before the Shadow. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I just don't have enough Lotro points right now to get it. And honestly, it's one of those where I could save for it, but... I don't really want to. Like, I don't really get the point. Like, I don't find it as, like, extremely necessary what to save for in comparison to... Um... You know, other expansions. Like, like Unbar and stuff, you know? I would prefer to save for that but I, I've already got that so it's not a biggie but um yeah you know I want to go to Maribol I guess I should go to it's over again where's um where's Duna oh yeah let's go there that's helpful yeah I uh I certainly like I just don't know I don't feel like before the shadow is necessary to get through and progress my game, so therefore, I don't worry about it. Um, like saving for it. I feel like it's just like another area I could look at doing Me quests and stuff, you. but I don't want to. Like, I already feel like I have enough places on my list of places that I would like to look at next for doing quests and stuff, but... We'll see. I do want to use Discount 30 if it's still available, which I kind of doubt it, but... I was hoping I could get enough river, uh, enough points for river hobbit, but I got to wait. I got to wait. Okay, I'm gonna go. I think we're going to get Dunlandings because there are half orcs. Oh, Jules disconnected. No, she DC'd. 
Um, but I know that there's like a big area I like to go on my um, mini on when she was doing a Regan quest. There was one where I think it was like a big camp with Dunlendings and uh, half orcs. So and we need both. Uh, do we need crows? I'm pretty sure crow. Yeah, Creevane. Yeah. Here we go. The dark wings. I guess I'll take a few of them out over here because why not? We got 50 minutes. We got some time. I'll be happy if we get like one or two deeds to advance during our 55 minutes or so. I'll be I'll be happy with that. Uh, I should use a speed boost. Let me drink a coffee real quick. And not coffee the person. I'm gonna drink an actual coffee. That reminds me! Yo, I went on Louis Seven's video, okay, that we did. Because uh, every, every now and then, I try to go on uh, any collapse that I did. I try to go under the video comments and see if anybody new or recent has commented. And I want to also comment on anyone's that I see, you know, just to make sure that, you know, not only like Louis or like Marley, for example, for the little podcast interview we did for Marley. Um, I'm like, I want to make sure that people are getting responded to or if they have any questions or anything, I can reach out to them. Uh, so anyway, I was going through some of the comments. Yo, I got a crazy comment. There was like, it was like an insulting comment. I think uh, there was one comment that said like, oh, like, why are these 10 year olds talking or something? And I was like, whatever, I just kept scrolling. And then the next comment was so crazy. I don't even want to repeat it, but I, I, I'm going to post it on the Discord. I'll post it on the Discord right now, actually, because I read it and I was like, this is the most insane phrasing of something that I've heard often, but the phrasing of it just cracked me the frick up, bro. <laughs> and I was like, that is so crazy to comment and actually hit publish. Like, it was so wild. Let me post it because I was like, what the heck? I almost posted it on Insta, but I feel like it's a little inappropriate. But oh my God, I was cracking the hell up. <laughs> I was like, I need to share this. Um... Oh, Sally, are you still in the chat? I need to get confirmation if your friend is joining us for Lotro Ladies on Sunday. So you're talking about that in a Lotro Ladies, and I was not sure. And I'm not sure who the person is. Um, Where should I put this? I'm going to put it in, well, I guess Lotro screenshot. Uh, I'll just put it in Lotro. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so um I posted it on hashtag Lotro on Discord if you wanna read it, but I was like, that is just such a crazy saying. The things people will say on the internet is sometimes astonishing. It was like, you know, I actually give like credit to the creativity of how they said it because I was like, that is nothing I've ever heard in my life. And now I can't unhear it. It's just so hilarious, bro. I was like, what? There's just no way. I'm just, I'm just laughing out of like, just an awement of this actually crossed someone's mind. But not only that, it, they actually said it like they did. <laughs> Kami is a LOL, what the heck, yeah. It was absolutely crazy. And that was like, what? <laughs> I just, I can't with it. It was just so funny. It was like, I'm not even mad about it. Really, I'm not. I'm just, I'm in awe. All right, I'm actually tripping on where this uh, location is. I think I went too far. Oh, actually, I think it's down there. Oh, I think I went too far over. Oopsies. Oh, Aubrey is going to throw me under the bus. Wait, why? Why do you say that, Epic? No way that that was your comment, Epic, okay? It was not your comment. I know your channel name. I know what you look like on YouTube side. Hi, OMG, I just read it, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was like, that's so crazy. 
<laughs> Bro, it, it's honestly, it's just so funny. It's like, okay. <laughs> I think I might have even liked it. I was like, this is just creative. <laughs> but also like WTF, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not original with names you say, Epic. I honestly, I'm not either, you know? We, uh, you know. I'm like, I don't know what to call this blog I want to do. Like, I already started writing articles for it. Now I just have to put it together, but I still can't decide on a name. And all the names I'm coming up with are not creative. They're just not. They're so bad. Oh, here it is. This is where I was looking for. How long do we have? Like, 30-some minutes? 45 minutes? All right, we're still okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm like, how do I explain that this blog is for MMO tutorials, but also keep it kind of the same? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is like, this camp here, so good for half orcs. Dunlundings, like, so good for D tier. Aubrey Diggs, yeah. Did you try AI to come up with names? I did, but they were also boring. I mean, I guess I have it for my own blog, I guess. I, like, like Lotro Mom, I was, like, not convinced if I would make a blog with Lotro Mom, so I was like, let me look up some more. And I found, like, one or two I liked, but... Maybe I should try it for weirdo stuff. Because I want it to be like weirdo something, but like, I also don't, I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, everything would be too long. Man, we are just massacring my boys out here. <laughs> Easy. Already got through the first half. All right, I'm happy. We already got to advance. I actually really like Aregian. It's really starting to warm up on me. I used to not care for it, but... It's a lot of fun out here. Lots of different things, and it's pretty. It's low-key kind of pretty, though. My inventory is full already? Yo, what? Da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. Weird logs? I kind of like that, hi? Weird logs. That's actually kind of cool. Wait, that actually makes sense too. Weird logs. I like that. That's a good idea. Use AI for titles sometimes and then tweak it more. Yeah, yeah, AI is nice for just generating ideas when I get stuck. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Weird logs. Yeah, it's pretty please. Heck yeah, copy. I agree. I think what's nice, I do kind of really want to get this blog up and going because I've already started writing for it and I would hate to waste the stuff, you know? Like all the time I've spent writing. But also, um,. I think it would be really beneficial for when I'm out, like, in May, doing so much, because I've got all these places I gotta get to May. Road trips and all that, so... I think it'll be nice, because it'll be way easier to update that while I'm away, in comparison to, like, making a whole video. But I do plan to, like, film a boatload of videos and then edit them when I have spare time when traveling and stuff, so... Road trips, maybe not so much, but... List for flights and stuff, heck yeah. Jeff Hacky said, if you ask AI for a list of names, you probably won't get good results. Write a paragraph or two yourself and what your goals are and then ask for it. A list of name suggestions and encompass that and you'll get much better results, yeah. Yeah, it's all about being specific about what you ask AI and all that, I get that. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a thing of like, even if I do add in specifics, I don't know, like... It's mostly just how I want to brand it, I guess. Like, I want it to kind of make sense, but at the same time, it... Doesn't always... It doesn't always fit within the weirdness, I guess. 
<laughs> as we'll say. Uh, are they gonna respawn? Here we go. Oh. I need enemies to respawn, please respawn. Oh, here they come. They're responding. Yay. Blog of the rings. I kind of like that. That's cool. Blog of the rings. I, I feel like that might be taken. Plus, it's not all going to be Lotro either, so maybe not. Like, I would keep Lotro Mom still, even though I want to do some other games and stuff, but I'm also like, then I feel like it'll be misleading for people, and I don't want to mislead people. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. That's probably what I'm doing. I'm probably overthinking it. Weirdos MMO Mastery or Guide to Virtual Adventure. <laughs> I like that. Weirdo MMO Mastery. I like weird logs. I like that one a lot. I don't know why. It's so, it's simple to the point, but then it also like has intriguingness, you know? Like, what are logs? What kind of logs are we talking here? Like, we're talking log logs, like 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 timber, or are we talking like <laughs> writing out logs, like coding, or what? You know, whatever. Writing blog stuff. Um, boop, ba da boom. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, good. I I like that one. Hi. Cause it's just it's just curious, you know. Curious, curious. Just like weirdness, you know. Got to be a little curious about the weirdness. Dude, we are just going crazy on these guys. They don't know what what's coming. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. I meant to hit my rock. Nah, don't even. Don't even waste the rock, man. Weirdos World MMO Mastery Guide. Ooh. Weirdos World. Weirdos World. <laughs> Weirdo Raid. Open up, all right. Just take them out one by one or in multiples, whichever is quickest. There's just so many of them. Come here, guys. Oh, come here. Yeah, dude, I love this camp for the uh, for this deed because my golly, it just feels like I'm just taking them all out, and by the time that they all respawn it feels like there's so many in all other di directions that it just kind of works out Da, da, da. All right, how many are we at? Ha Ooh, half orcs are almost halfway through the advance. Dunland, ooh, we're really close with them. Dun dun dun. Did I miss your Thursday night stream? No, how could you miss the Thursday night stream, B? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even. I I wasn't even there. I forgot the last stream I watched by Jeff Pack. Where'd Jules go? Is she back in I'm just glitched or did she actually fall off the the map? 
ChatGPT Weirdos World MMO Mastery Guide is a catchy and memorable name for your MMO guide vlog. It was a playful tone and suggests that VRS will be entering a unique and unconventional space guided by Weirdo to master their MMO adventures. Good luck with your vlog. Oh, your game crash? Wait, but are you back in or, or not? I'm just asking to see if my... If like, if it's on my end, then it's still showing your link is lost because I feel like it's been several minutes. How long will you be playing Lotro? Um, probably for like an hour. Uh, Jeff Packy said, no, I had a bachelor party to go to last night. Makeup stream tonight. Heck yeah. Let's go everybody check out Jeff Pack later tonight. Oh no, I'm not. I'm still out. Oh dang. Dang, man, that sucks. <laughs> Nick, thank you for the sub for two months now. Let's go. Two months, what? Jules, he said, okay, because I'll be back around, you know, usual dwarven lady time around 3.30. Wait, are we dwarven- are we dwarven lady tonight? Did I miss something? <laughs> uh, Snowgar, you said, I don't know, I just like the switch up. Oh, honestly, they should keep doing something more permanent, similar to the Spring Fest. It's so nice just to do some fun extra quests after doing side quests. I know, I, w I wish that they would have... Um... Festivals... That were longer term, I guess. I don't mind that they go out for the season. But it's almost like, I wish that they were here even longer. Like, I don't know. Well... It's like, I, I wish that they would show up twice. If that makes sense. I wish that they would show up twice per year and not just once per year, you know? All right, well, we just got Dunlending done. So I'm going to run out of here because there are other places that just strictly have half orcs in Aregion. Uh, but I honestly would like to focus on the lizards and crawlers because we are near those and those are a little bit more harder to hunt down. Oh. Speaking of... Um, I don't know if there's like a... Do you guys know of any crawler area? Said, I don't know. I don't think so, but lol. Okay. I, I'm like, uh, are we... I was like, did I, did I miss it? Like, like, if I miss the accepting... Um, I mean, we can. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know if I'll play long tonight. Because I gotta do some homework. I'm trying to get my homework done before Sunday because of Ultra Ladies Night. And... Uh, also, Saturday is going to be so busy from the walk, so I'm just trying to make sure that I get my homework together. But I have time to do some homework before tonight. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. All right, where are wizards and crawlers? I need them all. The Lost Temple have 50 rot, maggot, and larva throughout the dungeon. Oh. So will that help me with my deed? Is that what you're saying? Oh, Virtue Cap Reach on Wit. Let's go! Wisdom, Honesty. Oh, all that's left is Loyalty. <laughs> Whoopsies. Wow, okay, so my Virtues are pretty capped out for the most part. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Crawler Deed, yes. Okay, sick. You said it was the Temple? Do we need Angmarum in Aregion? I can't remember. No, okay. Um, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, the temple. If I have it, where could I find that even? 
Yes. Why is everything grayed out? Lost temple, you say? I don't- I can't do it. What's wrong? Oh, it's because I'm in the fellow. Oh, here, I'm gonna transfer leadership to, to you, Copy, and I'm gonna drop the fellow and see if that works. Sorry. I'll let you know if I can come back. Okay, I still can't do it. Well, here, I'll do this. But now it won't even tell me why I can't do it. Why can't I do it? Why won't it tell me why I can't even do it? What the heck, bro? I have to discover the place, but where is it? <laughs> I love how I'm like, where is it though? I can't believe I haven't discovered it. I feel like I've discovered everything. 27.9. Wait, huh? Wait, is that like troll shots? And troll shots? Oh, heck nah. I know exactly where that is, though. Um, I've been there a few times because that's where we're, where the whites are on Trollshaws. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Trollshaws is a hike. No way we're going northern Trollshaws at this hour. Dude, just getting there will probably take the rest of our Slayer Teen Accelerator. Okay. Maybe not that much, but dang. All right. Well, that sucks. But thanks for uh, trying, y'all. Let me know. That's wild. I feel like I've been there, but I've been there on so many other characters. To be fair, I guess I haven't because this this character hasn't even started the white's class or uh, white's deed on troll shawls so mix sand soggy ish only there was a hunter uh coffee can i get an invite again i'm sorry i'm taking an invite please Thank you. I'm back with our group. Oh my gosh, my granny's finally home. Wow, there's actually a lot of crawlers over here. I love it. It worked out. It works out. So much inventory. I just keep getting spam with messages, just like in Sotor for the credit cap, but this is just telling me my inventory is filled. Filled to the brim. Saw a crawler out over here. Oh yeah, no problem, thanks. Thought I saw another crawler, there he is. Come here, my precious. My precious. <laughs> Ooh. Little crawler way out there in the distance. Oh, there's another. Oh, come on. Lizard! Come here, lizard. Ooh! A worm! And it's a rare elite kind! Shard dropper. Gosh, back when shards were so important, they were not easy to come by, let alone just purchase. What deeds and where? We're in a Regian right now. I'm just trying to fill the time, honestly. Trying to get some of the harder deeds done. Creebane's almost out of advance, too. 
Are you filtering out junk like loot boxes? No, I don't do that. I I want to say old R, old R. <laughs> Nvidia just comes up and shows my FPS and my render latency. That's all that that. <laughs> that's all that that did. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that's all I saw. Like, okay, I don't know why that... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't think that was doing what I needed it to. Ooh, vermin bane. I like that. Ooh, lizard. Lizard, lizard, come here, boy. Meet your doom. Sorry, I can't remember the key. You mean for, like, to... To tab? Like, to delete them, or...? Like, so that you can search for them? Because I've been doing that. You select filters on the main menu. Yeah, I know. I just don't do it because sometimes I want the loot boxes, you know? Sometimes I do. But now I don't because I don't have the keys. There's a hotkey to load up the loot filters. Oh! Oh, okay. That's what you're trying to do. Okay. I was like, are you trying to tell me just to hit tab to, like, find enemies? Because... I have been. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Are they respawning? Hopefully they are. Give them to me. You're done. You are done. I don't see any more. Oh, here's a crawler. They're slowly spawning back in. <laughs> do, 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 do. Doom. Da, da, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, crawler. Come here, boy. You're mine. I'm just gonna perch up here and search for crawlers. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. I'm just so trigger happy, just spamming my freaking skills, man. A lizard? That's a lizard! It almost looked like a flower out there. Oh, there's another lizard out there. Hold on. Give me the lizards, please. I'll take them. They work too. How long do I've got? 23 minutes! Where do you think I could get, like, the crow guys at? Freebane? I think that there's, like, a hill. Oh, yeah, Burnt Tor. I think Burnt Tor has, like, a crap ton of them that spawn up there. That might work. Going AFK for a few in game. No worries, copy. I'll protect you. I'll look over your shoulder. From a Regian. <laughs> um, oh. Let me check the other side. The other side's gotta be nice. Gosh, look at all these loot boxes, though. Maybe I should filter them. Like, my golly. Didn't realize how many there would be. Oh. Deeds for days, yo. Deeds for days. It's gonna be so nice not having to work on deeds, though. Just think about that. Even though this is such a pain to do, it's just so nice when you get done with deeds and you're like... I'm max ranked. I don't have to do anything now. I can breathe. I can breathe and live like I never have before. Oh. 
Uh, lizards? All right. Oh, crawler. It's about to run through and just see. Oh. Gosh, there's a lizard way on the distance. I'm so concentrated in on this. Goodbye, lizard. Oh, there's another lizard. All right, hopefully we can get this before our timer runs out so we can go to Burnt Tour and see. I'm just so ready to be done with this deed. This one's always the hardest, the crawlers and stuff, to me. I don't know, wolf and wargs are kind of... They're a little difficult to come across in a Regian. I don't know what other slayers there might be, because we haven't even gotten one done. One slayer done. Well, no. Yeah, we have. We just got the Dunlanding one done. So we should see what the full list looks like now. Should be able to, anyway. Mm -mm. I guess not. Did they not show you Slayer Deed Advance? Oh, it's because I don't have any other deeds done. That's why. <laughs> to get the overall exploration, like, total one that you get with the moats and stuff. So I might have to do more quests in Oregon. Maybe? Here we go. So I'll spawn back in. Oh, come here, my precious. My precious is... There's some over here I can grab. I think that's all for now over there. Um, I guess I can sell while I run real quick. I'm just gonna sell and fight, sell and fight. That's how it works. That's how you know you play Lotro like a pro is when you can sell and fight at the same time. Oh golly, aw, so many Dunlendings are spawning in now instead of crawlers. It's unfortunate. See one slithering away over there. Run for your life! Slither, slither. Alright, let's keep checking. Oh. oh my gosh, we only need, like, what, three more? Yeah, three more now? Okay, two. Okay, two more! Just two more, guys! We're done with the crawlers and the lizards. Oh, there we go. There's our two. Oh, wow. We're done already. Okay, never mind. I just need one. I could not math. Let's go. We got it. Loyalty is not maxed out yet, though. It's okay. If loyalty gets maxed, I would like to... I would like to get some of the passives opened up. That'd be nice. I wish I could tell the game, like, which one I want to work on next. Alright, to Burnt Tour. How long we got? We got 17 minutes. That's honestly not bad. Dang, we might get a, a good couple of Creebane done. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Shoot. Yeah, I'm shocked it won't show me the total Slayers that I need. Like, that's that's just weird. Normally it does, so I don't know. That's wild to me. At least we're getting a lot of Lotro points. Ooh, half orcs, I need those. Oh. 
Unless... You know, like, I even got the explorations. I guess there's not an overarching one in a Regian, and that's why. Which is kind of wild. But it is what it is, I guess. Alright, where's Burntor? I've got a ways to go, right? Yeah. Just keep going sideways. This way. Dude, I have Orc grunted in pain. He said, oh. Ooh, does that camp have half, half orcs asking for a friend? If so, I'll be very happy with that. I can knock that out quick. I should be done the dings and I'll be like, no! Get away from me. We already got you guys. It is Dunland. Ah, oh, how dare! How dare! We have half orcs around in the area, making me so excited. Thinking, yeah, definitely got half orcs, and nah. They trick me with Dunlandings. How could they? I already got them. I don't know. Burnt Tour actually. Oh, wait. Half orcs are definitely here. I remember this. I definitely remember this area. Let's go here real quick. Okay, I'm literally going in the opposite direction of Burnt Tour. Oh, God. I can't remember if it's Treebane up there or Wargs. Either way, I'll take either. Not gonna be picky. Um, but yeah. All right, let's just go through and take out all these half orcs real quick. Wolves. How did I not get that wolf? The heck? Sometimes I get a little like confused by the AOE and with the roomkeeper skills. Like it's just odd. It's just odd sometimes when it doesn't work. Like sometimes I know when it's me and I'm not close enough to things or I've hit it way too early, but. Do 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 Aw, so close with half orcs, man. Almost there, almost there. Phew. Poor guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> More scouts, more scouts, please and thank you. Let's get this over with, please. I know, these are so exciting to watch, right, y'all? They're just so fascinating. And so much fun and enjoyable. Who here actually likes deeds? That's the real question. I don't mind them, but I also get so tired of them. Like, how I ever did these without Slayer Accelerators is beyond me. It's B, you said deeds. I paid for the whole seat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I only need the edge. You only need, you pay for the whole seat, but you only need the edge before you realize how many deeds there were. Yeah. I think maybe that's the thing is like, I don't mind them, but then when I realize how many I actually have, like how many things I actually have to work on, I get overwhelmed. Oh, I started earning for patience because loyalty max, nice. All right, um... Let's do Valor now. Yeah, I did not know that passive bonuses for Virtues actually do help you. I didn't know that until the other day. So I would like to get all of my Virtues unlocked. 
um, just to have that passive bonus. It's not like it does too much of a difference, I guess, but like it increases my morale by a tiny bit, but I'll take any little bit of advantage I can. I'm on the edge of my seat with excitement. <laughs> yeah, V, thanks. I appreciate it. Totally are, yeah. I 10 out of 10 believe that. <laughs> like, heck yeah, deeds, man. I'm just too pumped for that. All right, we, got, we only got 11 minutes left. That's not bad. Watch me come all the way up here and there'd be, like, nothing I need actually up here. That'd be very upsetting. Guess I have to go around. After my 10 minutes is up, I am going to go back to Springfest, do some of those quests. Um, But I'm gonna eat some food. I need to talk to my granny, see how things are going with her. Oh, it's wargs. Dang it. I was hoping it was birdies. I do need wargs, though. I won't be upset. But there's not that many up here. I don't know where you could go get more wargs, honestly. I don't see many wargs or wolves even around here. Oh! Warg master floating about. Gosh, there's so many wargs now. I spoke too soon. There's just wargs everywhere right now. One does not simply walk into more wargs. I guess not. <laughs> or do you? Because that seems to be what happened with us just this second. I was like, my golly, there's no wargs. Then I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many wargs. Like, they're just all over. Alright, well, we got through the base completion, I guess. Oh, birdie. Birdie, give me him. Give me him. Give me the spies. Uh, wargs? Question mark? Where'd they go? Did I take them all out? I think I did. Fang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, I'm so starved. I'm starving. I had stew before um, streaming, but I guess it really wasn't much. My stomach says otherwise. Stomach's like, girl, you need some food, like actual food. That reminds me, I was thinking on a... I was thinking that someday this week I should probably go and like go get a steak because I've been wanting to get a steak. I have a gift card to go to this one steak place. Every time I ask someone to go, like, something happens. Like, I did try to go one day, but they were so busy. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go on my own, like, during a lunch or something and just, like, I don't know, eat by myself. <laughs> I'll go out, take myself out to lunch. How about that? It, like, I don't know, do a little bit of work. I don't know what to do, though. Some people are, like, uh, some people are wild because some people actually bring, like, whole laptops and stuff to, like, restaurants and, like, hold their laptop at a bar. I'm like, you are so gutsy for doing that because knowing me, I'm, are, are, are just even, even, yeah, just knowing me, I'd be in the proximity of someone who would spill their drink, I would spill my drink, and it would get all over the laptop or something. No way. I always feel like it's gutsy enough when I bring it to a coffee shop. Oh, golly. This is gonna be bad. How much time we got? Seven minutes. Seven minutes and counting. We can do this. Yes, we can. Why 
We're at 40 wargs, though. We're actually not doing too too shabby. I am happy with the progress we've made. In the little bit of time we've had. I guess it's not that little of time, I guess. But... Boom, boom. Ba doom, ba doom. Forty eight, fifty. Gosh, if we could get to ninety, I'd feel so much progress. Halfway, just halfway. Do, do. This is like end game to me. Just trying to get max out all my deeds, get all the deeds done, get all my virtues up to date, you know. <laughs> that is max level end game for me. Yo. <laughs> We're just trying to get ahead of putting all of that on us at the end, you know. Oh, my game is acting up. Stop acting up, game, please, and thank you. Hey, Hyarkon, how you doing? What is up? Deeds are up. That's what we're doing. We've got uh, five minutes left on our Slayer Deed Accelerator. After that, we are going to go do some more spring quests. I got to stomp on some shrews. And uh, more or less get, get some stuff together for that. I'm going to do some of the instances, maybe. Uh, how many festivity tokens do I have? 15. I could run some instances and just get to the max of the festivity tokens. That way we have it for the next fest. You're really tired, higher con Take a nap, you know? Or go to sleep, depending on where you're at. Nothing wrong with that. Yesterday, I was so exhausted, higher con. I was so tired. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Epic, this is indeed crazy. Ooh, that Fang and Stalker was looking crazy, that's for sure. Oh, man. How many birds do I need? 22? Oh my gosh, I thought we were way closer on the birds. I don't know why I thought that. It's okay. We at least made progress started. Uh, well, while I wait for those wargs to respawn... I will just go out further and see if I could find anything else I may need. Badgers. I don't need badgers. Get out of here, badgers. Arakan, you said not when you're having to do an investigation involving one of your officers and all the paperwork for it. Oh no, an investigation on an officer, a fellow officer, you say. Whew. What were they doing? Like, what's going on? I mean, you probably can't say, so I guess I shouldn't ask. But, oh man, that does sound intense. Something snazzy's going on. Official business, yeah. I mean, could you take a nap, like, soon, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna make my way back to Burnt Tor because they may have respawned by now. How long we got? Oh, two minutes, y'all. Just two more minutes of deeds. Gante, those are never fun. I did that in the Navy, now as a cop. Oh, wait, guns, you're a cop? I knew about your previous, like, military experience, but I didn't know you were a cop. That's so wild. You guys have you guys have stressful jobs, that's for sure. I just say I got a phone call at five in the morning. Heard yelling in the background. Oh no. Nah. Screw that, man. Screw that. Yep, federal cop for a DOD. Oh my god! Wait, guns! What the heck, man? Arrest me! No, don't arrest me! 
Hi, what the heck, man? You want the streams to get canceled or something? <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. That's really, that's really awesome. Y'all are out here doing crazy good work. It's gotta be, you know, I really respect the, the job aspect of it, because there's just... I don't know, depending on, I, I, I guess it depend, depending on rank and all that, but... It just seems like cops have to deal with the most crazy st situation sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, what? It does not seem like an easy job, we'll say. Oh, there's a wolf out there. I'm a U.S. Marshal SWAT supervisor. Ooh, wow. That's wild. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. 50 seconds. No. 50 seconds, guys. Just 50 seconds left. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? That's just not enough orgs around. Okay, I see four wargs war in my vision. Okay. Ten seconds! Oh golly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> it's gone! Oh, uh, oh, I just made it an odd number. I should make it even. Find me one more warg and then we're out of here. Alright. Well, dang, we actually made it pretty far. 148 out of 180 wolves and wargs. Pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Um, I'm going to... Don't know which milestone. We'll just take this one. Take the one over to uh, Ed and Morris. That's sick, yeah, the crap we have experienced. Yeah. <laughs> I could only imagine. Guns, you say I used to work with the U.S. Post Office narcotics response team for a bit also. Oh, wow. That's schnazzy. A schnazzy job, we'll say. Did you get the snail yet? Yes, I have the snail. I have the snail. Uh, where, where is he? Where the heck is my snail? The freak. I wish they had cosmetic pets under their own tab. I don't know why that's so difficult, but yeah, here he, here he is. Okay. Uh, oh wait, I can't pull it out right now. Okay. Whew, all right, deeds for days. Done. Da, 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 da. Are those the only two I have left to do, or just Creeping and Wolflands? I still can't believe there's not a Slayer Deed Accelerator one. Or a Slayer Deed one that shows me what Slayers I have done. That's so wild to me. Regan might almost be done done. And they're both on advance. That's so tempting to just complete. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, where'd my- where'd my tab go? My tab went away with my cosmetic pet. I'm upset. Uh, it isn't under collections and pets. Well... That's true. Actually, can you pull them out from the collections tab? I'm going to learn something if this is accurate. Oh, <gasps> you can pull them out from the collection. Oh, OK, well, that's easier. <laughs> Do you want to get this Deed Slayer tracker plug in? I hear it's helpful. Um, I haven't checked it out, honestly, not that one. Um, I might look into it, but I don't think I'll get it. Copy said I'm back. Something came up for a minute. No, you're good, man. No worries. I just finished deeds. Literally just did. Um, so I'm gonna finish the rest of the maze runner quests. Uh, I do want to run some 
some seasonal instances. I don't know if you want to join me on that or not. Well, honestly, I don't have to do those either. I can wait on it. Uh, what I will do right now is I'm going to take a quick break because I'm going to go eat something. Because I am starved. But first, let me clear out my inventory because my inventory is just absolute crap now. Or at least part of my inventory. <laughs> So much coin. We're gonna be rolling in gold after this. Just rolling in gold. I think I can break down essences, yeah? No, I can't. Dang it. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll sell it for money. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, my heart. Oh, not that. Yeah, right click. Sweet. I could join, but I'm way lower level than you, so I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, that's true. I did forget about that. Like, we could set it to your level, but then it's like, I don't even, I, I, like, <laughs> you would just fight everything yourself because I'm like, well, I could just heal you. But then I'm like, that would be, <laughs> I feel like that would just be so, like, what's the point? You know, like, at, at that point, solo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know. Um. Why am I tripping on all this stuff that I just saw that I'm like, oh yeah. My girl could use that. I just said, hey, we should try 120 festival instances evil smile. <laughs> Before I did that though, I used to work I used to work things and other things for Interpol. Whoa. Dang man, nice. Yeah, it's cool. You can just do them without me. Alright, coffee. <laughs> Mike, I am way too low level. LOL I'm 17. <laughs> hey, you and coffee could join Mike. Yeah, hi and I can do that. Um that raid one real quick. Da, 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 da. The six man one, or whatever you want to call it. Do, 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 do. This song's so catchy, man. I just love Breland music. It's so good. It's so good. Um, there we go. I need to go on my other characters and actually accept this stuff because it keeps just getting sent right back to me. That's the last thing I want to do. Steal with it. Sorry, I know going through inventory is so exciting, y'all. So, so exciting. I have some stuff I need to put in the kin hall, too. Uh, oh my gosh, she, I missed one thing already. Bruh. Oh my god, I missed two things! Oh my gosh, I keep seeing stuff that I missed and then I'm like, oh my. Kieran, let's do... let's put that there. Because that'll be stuck there. Alright, cool. 
What are you rolling in that gold? I mean, I'm only at, what, 180 gold? Not bad. I mean, I won't say. Like, that's not bad. In my standards, I think that's fine. But other people might say, oh, that's just not much. Not much at all. Not much indeed. It's all about perspective, I guess. Compu say, yeah, I'm doing some other stuff here, and then I'll probably do some deeds on Brandywine. You say, oh, okay, no worries. Uh, you're also ex Navy, higher con. Dang, higher conscious, like over here, like I've seen some stuff, you know, work some wild jobs, you know. Brew crew, how do you get so many slots? So, uh, well, here I put all my slots together. So, in your inventory, if you hit this edit mode, it'll show like your other bags and stuff. Uh, so I moved all of my slots from other bags into big, a big one. Uh, and then how I got all these slots, I just grinded Lotro points and got them from the Lotro store. Uh, which reminds me, I'm at 459 Lotro points now. Almost a 500. Pretty good. That's a pretty good run for, you know, just doing some deeds and stuff. I'm not complaining about that at all. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to take a quick second to find some food <laughs> and then i'll be back for some more maze stuff and then yeah i want to i want to plan to wrap up stream in like 30 minutes or so so we don't have too much longer jetpack you said technically i used to work indirectly for a certain three letter intelligence community but i didn't know their names oh very ominous, very ominous. Very ominous indeed. All right. While I am gone though, tell me, how much gold do you currently have on your character that you are playing or last played? Let me know.
The most horrible thing happened, guys. My granny didn't get the chocolate chip pop tarts. <laughs> I'm really upset. <laughs> that was all I was craving. I was like, I just want them. And she was like, yeah, I was on the top of my list. And I was about to go grab them. And I forgot them. <laughs> and I was like, because she ran into someone we know. And I was like, dang it. So here I am, eating little Hershey candies that she got. <laughs> she did, she did, okay, she did get two tubs of ice cream, though. And I've been eating ice cream, like, almost every day. It's pretty sad. But, um, yeah, so it makes up for it. <laughs> um, um, Copy said, oh, that's why Jeff is so good at voice acting. He's a master of disguise. <laughs> Well, I guess so. Valkyria. Oh, hey! You say one gold and 48 silver. Hey, that's not bad. Dude, that peacock is so loud sometimes. It scares me. Uh, Jetpack? No, I'm a software engineer. Oh my gosh. Hi, you said 7,114 gold. Oh my gosh. It was an American company you worked for, Jetpack. Our CEO used to get drunk and broadcast the information at company parties and try to call out individuals who were affiliated with us, saying that they should raise their hands or some forward to say hi. It's so funny and embarrassing, but no one took him up on that offer. Oh my. Ice cream the best, though, so fair enough. I know, Jada. She got two. She got, like, the plain vanilla. I've been inhaling plain vanilla, putting, like, a crap ton of whipped cream, sprinkles, chocolate syrup, like, the whole shebang shebang on it, even chocolate chips on it. Like, I go all out on my ice cream sundaes. But she then also got cookie dough. So I'm like, oh, okay, well. I see you, Grammy. I see you with that. <laughs> Danny said on all Arkansas, I probably have over 6K. Um, nine, yeah, 9,999 gold is the max. Yep. If it's 999, then I have over 600. I see. <laughs> oh, man. I had a jalapeno cheese stick. My granny got these, um, this is like a week ago now, but when she went last to the store, she got cheese sticks, but she didn't realize that they were jalapeno flavored with pepper jack cheese, and they're like the spiciest thing, and I just had one. I'm like, oh, I had no quick how, um, I have no clue how quick you can earn money, though, but I made her like three days ago. Yeah, I think in Lotro, I feel like it used to be so hard to make money because you always needed a gold to get your horse at level 20 and I feel like getting that goal took forever like I would be level 20 past my riding skill stuff and all of that but oh, I could I never get it sorted because could I speak with you um what you do it's like a super loud car uh, but I can never get my horse because I never had a gold my cookie dough for the win exactly dude cookie dough is the best I love it Cookie dough, like as in cookie dough ice cream. Yes, and cookie dough ice cream. Yes. Yes. Spend that money. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to plan to like go to the store and go get my Pop Tarts. Good day. At some point, either this weekend or some other time. Oh, OMG, I need to try this. I don't know if we have it here in New Zealand. We'll have to try. Oh. You're not sure if you have cookie dough ice cream? You mean to tell me there's a universe where cookie dough ice cream isn't a thing? That actually kind of upsets me. I hope I hope you have it, Jaden. Cookie dough ice cream is the bomb. <laughs> A lovely day, isn't it? Dude, that tween was way too pumped. Um, I will have to say I do I do have to eat dinner at about six fifteen, so that means we only got like twenty five minutes of stream. Hoping that we hit the five hour mark of stream, pretty much. 
and then we'll wrap it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will just tell you guys that tomorrow at 10 a.m. EST, we will be doing the Walk to Mordor. Um, feel free to join. You do not have to be there the whole time because it'll probably take us several freaking hours to get through the walk. Um, but yeah. That'll be exciting. It'll be a very long stream tomorrow. I told my granny, I was like, I'm probably going to be streaming for like 12 hours tomorrow. She was like, say again. <laughs> well, I was like, listen, I'm just going to be walking. And she was like, walking. It's like, yeah, I'm going to be walking to Mordor. <laughs> okay. Um, Joe, you said I can't imagine a world without cookies and cream milkshakes. See, I don't like cookies and cream, which is so funny. I love cookie dough and cookies and cream almost seems very similar to me in comparison to cookie dough, but I don't like cookies and cream. I don't know what it is. I never was a big fan of it. Bort Bort, hey! Cookie dough ice cream for me is vanilla. For my wife, it's chunks of cookie dough leaving me the vanilla. <laughs> oh, I see. That's so sad. Are you doing an actual walk mode? Yeah, actually, we're actually walking in game. Um, starting from Mikkel Delving. I'm gonna, you know, just walk like this. All the way, just like the wandering elves here. We're gonna just walk like them all the way to Mordor. So that's why I say it will be a very long stream tomorrow. I'm hoping it takes less than 14 hours. Um, but we'll see. We will just have to wait and see on that. Um, I keep checking the same areas for beer because sometimes they spawn in areas you've already checked, you know. Hey, old protein, how's it going? I was in a huge raid train yesterday once I stopped my stream. We raided Sally. Sally then raided, I think she raided Green-Eyed Gamer. Then uh, I ended up in Bloodborne stream. Then Bloodborne ended up raiding... Uh... I think he ended up raiding Poteen? Or somebody else ended up raiding Poteen? One of the two. I ended up in Poteen stream. I was watching your stream, Poteen. I was. I was. I was away. But I was watching. Could I drink the second one in time? Damn. I, I thought it'd be too much, but... OMG, I would die. I'd just get attacked by everything. Well, the plan is, Jetpack, is that... Anyone who wants to join us, it doesn't matter your level or anything. I'm hoping what will happen is that we'll have like a group of defenders who can like clear out some of the mobs for anyone who might be too low leveled. But um, that's sort of the plan. Society would crumble without cookies and cream milkshake. Probably. You're probably right by that, Joe. Mikey said 14 hours. Man, this game is huge. I never play past Bree. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is just walking. Okay, this is just strictly walking. So that's what some of it is, you know? Um, But yeah, like if we were running there, I would assume it would just be like six hours or so. No, I need the tween! I need the tween! Give me the tween! <laughs> you made me use a stupid potion! Triggering especially for those with ADHD. Wait, what? Oh, the beer? That might be the greatest thing. Heck yeah. That poor, I feel bad for slapping this person. They're like, what? <laughs> Why am I getting slapped? Bro, you saw me gunning for that tween as soon as possible. Hey, Steve how's it going? Jaden? Okay, so I found cookie dough ice cream, but it's Ben & Jerry's ice cream, hence why I've never tried it. They're like 20 bucks a dollar. Yeah, Ben & Jerry's does have pretty good, good um, cookie dough ice cream, but yeah, I never get Ben & Jerry's because it's expensive. Don't get between Aubrey and her tween. Exactly. Carther. <laughs> okay, that sounds really wild. <laughs> that Carther. Whoa. Um, 
copy why the tweens contested among players but the elves are not it's so inconsistent right exactly like bro come on just make sure i get my tweens that's all i ask for how do you do yeah this game is huge that's humongous um yeah i'm hoping it really doesn't take too many hours but we'll see if we have to break it in, like, uh, the worst case is I really don't want to break it into, like, two separate day streams. But, like, it might have to be just like that. Uh, worst case. Worst case. I'm kind of just sitting here hoping a tween will respond here because they do. Because I don't want to go out and run out and go get them. You know what I mean? Like, if it could just spawn here, like, relatively quickly, I would feel happy. Same thing with certain pickup quests. Some are contested, some are not. Uh, like the patch of flowers are contested. Yeah. Dude, when I was out there doing my patch of flowers, no problems. I was shocked my whole hour. I got all 100. Pretty quickly. I was very impressed. Flax, cherry wood, and twine are not, right? Yeah, it's wild. Gosh, the chickens. Jeez. Watch, I'm gonna walk out and a tween's gonna respawn. I guarantee it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I guess not. I guessed wrong, y'all. We still need to stop some shrews. What we gotta hurry up with you? these quests, y'all. I still At gotta get my my elves. And your families. You may be of service to me. Nice cape, by the way. Thank you. I got it from the Midsummer Fest. Oh, there we go. You made those. Okay. You're mine. Uh, okay, that sounds a little weird. I uh, I think that's all the maze quests. I just need the elves. The elves are so easy to get, though. Um, oh wow, another one <laughs> already insta-respawned. Um, yeah, we do have to stomp some shrews still. Wait, I still have three other things I need to do. Wait, it'll be eight. It'll be eight things. Oh, wait, I still have to run and go get flowers and stuff like that over. Oh, wait, I totally missed an elf, too. Nice. Nice going, need? Aubrey. Yeah, this, uh, I got this cape in, uh, Midsummer Fest. This is the Bridal Veil, um, which is only, what like, probably, like, 15, 20 tokens, Midsummer tokens, uh, and then I dyed it black. That's why it looks so cool. I love how it looks black. It's so pretty. I don't know if it goes with the dress much, but I don't care because I just love the, I love the cloak. So good. So, so good. Megavarman. Megavine. Man, I miss Midsummer. Apparently, I don't know this maze like I thought I did. This one in a dead end. Yeah, I'm gonna be so excited for Midsummer Fest. I feel like Midsummer I used to dislike so much because it's so freaking massive. It takes so long to learn it. But like once I got it down, I just feel like I love it. What I love I the cosmetics in Midsummer the most, I think, out of any other festival. Even though Yuletide is the best festival, hands down. Love the quest in Yuletide. I don't know, Yuletide's just a, a totally different beast because of um Winter Home, really. I think Winter Home makes that festival. How can I be of service? Do 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 Alrighty, let's go and get this elf. Last, last elf here. Oh, is he over here or is he? No, he's over at the other one. Ah, <sighs> there you are, buddy. Hello. What can I do for you? Just gonna stop you right there, elf, and make my way. Uh, okay, 34,000 uh, morale. I feel like our room keeper is getting up there with health. 2,000 power? Wow. These are crazy Sweet numbers now. Of course the chickens are loose now. I'm not spending 20 minutes on the chickens. Sorry, guys. We're going to Aerodluin to stomp some shrews. I'm on a time limit here. I got 15 minutes. Jeff Pack, you say, uh, have a good rest of your stream. Gotta get dinner for the kiddos and get a walk in before my stream later. Yeah, no problem. Everybody, make sure you go follow Jeff Pack and check out his stream later. Um, yeah, no worries. You have a good, you have a good night. 
jetpack and enjoy your dinner. That's what I have to do. I have to go eat din din. Dinny din din. I'm so glad our, our virtues are max ranked. It's just so, it's so nice. So nice. So, so, so nice. What do you need? Dwayland. Dwayland. Dwayland? Dwayland? Dwee? Dwee? Is it Dwee or Dway? Dweeland? Dweeland. I think it's Dweeland. Pretty sure it's Dwin. Snow Guardian said, hey, uh, I just tested it and in fact it worked. However, I still fail because the NPC didn't say rest now and that kind of disappointed me. Uh, Viper, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How you doing today? Um, NPC didn't say rest now and it kind of disoriented me, but I already got further than my first dance, so thank you. Yeah, no problem, Snow Guardian. I'm so glad it works. You figured it out. Well, that just means, though, because I think the way that the rotation works is that, like, there's one dance that'll happen in one area. Then you could go to the next dance because then once you do that dance, like Brie, for example, you do the Breland dance, you have to wait 20 minutes. But then I think the next dance will trigger where you could pick up the quest at the next area. I don't know what that next area is, but it should be, like, totally, like, put together basically for the hour. Um, so you could dance for, like, a whole hour, pretty much. Well, maybe not a whole hour, but, you know, you should have other areas to go. Viper Vive Cereals? Ooh, it's been a minute. Um, Lucky Charms, Frosted Flakes, Reese's Puffs, I think they're called. Uh, Cocoa Puffs, for sure. Uh, Fruity Pebbles. And just in case I said one that wasn't accurate, we'll say Cheerios. Cheerios are good, though. Stop it, Shrews! Get me my Shrews, bruh. Give me my shrews. Then we're gonna do spring flowers. And then spare moments of your time. We will get those collected. And then probably wrap stream after that. Well no, we'll have to go speak with Sergeant Tom then wrap stream. My ear was itchy. Snowgar, you said I did the Brie one, yeah, but the NPC did like a second step and I did that right, but she immediately skipped to the third step while I was still doing the second step, so therefore I failed. Well, that shouldn't have triggered the fail. It was largely because she said rest now with everything else, but not that one. Yeah, so the way the Breelin one it works is that you have the first one, you trigger, and then it's rest, and then the next steps are there is no resting after that your next rest will actually be the end so you only get one rest that whole time um i so is it true that you go do do the shoes to avoid the slaps i mean <laughs> i didn't think about it like that but yeah i mean that's a huge perk i do actually really like it when people would want to slap me like q for instance q will come by and he'll try to like slap me but then he's like oh crap i can't slap <laughs> it is kind of nice Ooh, should we smoke some pipe weed while we wait? I've got so much of it and I don't want to just sell it, you know what I mean? Like, what else do you do with all this pipe weed, you know? Just... The greatest pipe weed in Gamwich. I really like that dress. That's so pretty. Summer Day's dress and she dyed it black. <gasps> it looks so good in black. Oh my golly. So, so good. Dancing, dancing, dancing machine, follow la, la, la. I will become a dance veteran. Trust me, I'm going to train. You can do it. You can do it, Snowgar. I used to never do it because for the reasons you're kind of explaining. Like, I always would run into issues where things like just weren't consistent i could never get the timing right and then yeah i would always fail it just from like the smallest of things but now i'm telling you the way to do it is you just spam click those emotes when they come up on your little quest tracker just spam them i'm telling you just spam them and then it'll tell you to rest or whatever then just rest immediately and then you just wait for the next commands and then you just spam them man just spam them that's the way to do it now you just spam it Hey, Brewster. Hello and lurking. Thanks, Brewster. I appreciate it. Yeah, just spam them all the heck. 
But Brie is actually quite simple. I actually really like Brie because it is fairly easy to do because, yeah, you only got that one rest. You take a rest and then you wait and then it's just spam, 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 spam. And then it's like you have to wait for her to complete dancing. And it's just so funny to me. Gosh, this person is a pro. That girl with the who dyed her dress black that I said, I just loved her dress. She's a freaking pro running around. I like this woman. She's my damsel. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a pro gamer right there. Of course. I think I'm the only one still stomping on Shrews. Because everybody stopped. Okay, everybody save. Oh, come on! I had it targeted! And then it, like, targeted something else! What the frick? Oh my golly. Fine. What a little tush. Will you lend me your ear? Tush and a half. So, Gracie, yeah, I think uh, it's a bit of a learning curve with how different the NPC will dance, but at one point you'll you'll know. I have hope. Yeah, you can do it. You got this, Silgar. You got this. You can do it. I'm actually quite irritated by that. <laughs> I totally targeted it. I know I wasn't going to make it because someone else was ahead of me, and I can totally respect that, that they got it. But my golly, like, you got to be real kidding me, man. Really do. Just really. Wonder if I can collect the spring flowers and the flax and all of that. Well, I don't know. Honestly, I should cancel this because the twine. Someone's calling me. Oh. Oh, crap. My boss is calling me for my one job. She called me yesterday, but I did not respond because she called me at like 9 and I was tired. And I forgot to call her back. She gonna have to wait. Sorry, boss. Sorry. I think it's because I'm. It's for my cleaning job, and I think she's trying to change the date because it's supposed. I was supposed to clean on Sunday, but I think she's trying to change it to a different date, which is fine. But like, I just don't have time to sort that out right now. Why yeah, yoy? So much to juggle. What time is it? Six oh eight. It's way too late, bruh, way too late. Alright, that should be my last quest. Voicemail, oi oi. Yeah, Garthy said there's enough time to do the flower quest and the boot quest. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I just don't have enough time for my own schedule right now. Because I'm like, if I did it, like, right now, like, I would probably run past 6.15 and it's already 6.08 and I have to run back to Bree. So I just don't think I have enough time between going to Keladim. Oh yeah, I could do the swift travel too from Michael Delving. I didn't even think about that. That's true, that's true. <laughs> do do all right, here we go. Turn it in. Be done. All right, let me go to Tom. Let me go speak with Tom now. My taste of spring. I really do need to focus more on spring fest. I've taken quite a few days off this fest, but it's not a biggie. I just really want the figs. I just want the figgies. The figgy figs. Hail, friend, and well met. Hail, friend, and well met. Well, I guess I'll go to Michael Delving to then go to. Or Meikle Delving, I'm so sorry to say that. Well, the reason um, I've timed that is because I'm working on a fast spring. <laughs> a spring fest 10 run video. Heck yeah, Garther. Yeah, do it. Hey, Sergeant. I'm having a good week. Uh, new match. Ooh, new job. I got to see my Tar Heels play with my brothers yesterday. Ooh, nice! Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. It sounds like an exciting week, Sergeant. You have a lot of things that are happening. So excited and so excited!
Do do do. All right, five hour mark, guys. You know what time? You know what time it is then? It's time to wrap up the stream. We hit the five hours. Gonna go speak with Tom, but don't worry because we will be live again tomorrow. I don't know if we're doing dwarven ladies. Hello there. <laughs> Yeehaw! How's my little cowboy doing out there? Hey. <laughs> Should be you should be slapping me with your horse, not your not your fish. <laughs> oh boy, nah. Whoa. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. You looked better in your overalls, sir. Please put your trousers on, sir. No, you don't have to flex them muscles like that. No, no. <laughs> oh my God, Q. <laughs> I don't even know. Is it like a cringe emo? <laughs> Where's our cringe emo? Okay. I'm just gonna do crazy at this point. <laughs> like, bro, you out of it. <laughs> it's S fan from OTK. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Oh, I didn't even test my dance dwarf. Oh, that's a little shuffle shuffle. I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you... <laughs> Wait, you've got that too, man. We're, we're offbeat, but it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I messed that up. That was me. Let me do this again. Look at Q. Okay, I'm still messed up. It's fine. Q got banned from his chat. Why? Alright, well, uh, this is where we got a wrap-up stream for today. Uh, get to see a little dancing cowboy going on, you know? <laughs> oh, golly. Um, let's figure out who we're gonna go raid. Oh my gosh, B, I just saw you DM to me. Your clip as well. Oh, golly. Look at those moves. Exactly, Mike. Dude, Q got the moves, man. We both do. We're both just like, we're just too hot to handle, man. Um. Wow, no one I know is, is streaming Lotro right now. Who's Atomic Number? I've actually seen them on quite a few times. Um. But I don't, I don't know who they are. Do you want to... We should go raid them. Possibly. It looks like they're doing troll shot stuff. Oh, wow, they've been streaming for like four hours too. Dang. Goofo, damn. Yeah, someone's doing PvP. A lot of people are not English speakers. Which, unfortunately... Most of us in the chat are, so it wouldn't work out, you know. Shield of the Snark? They have four screens up. That's kind of cool! Wait, hold up! Oh my god! No, we have to raid this person because it says, Sarah Oakheart must die. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> That's all you had to say, man! <laughs> we gotta go raid them! <laughs> That's all. I just had to see that tag and it was game over. I was like, you we're best friends already, okay? <laughs> Make sure you copy and paste the raid message or the sub raid message if you are subscribed. Um, yes, copy. Uh, thank you. Have a good one as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's called Shields of the Snark all together. Uh, make sure you copy and paste the raid message. Um, I will be live again tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. EST. So it's going to be very early in the morning. Um, the reason why is because we have to walk to Mordor. So if you want to join, we're going to start in Meekle Delving uh, in the Shire right at the Stable Master, to be particular. And from there, we will start walking to Mordor. <laughs> um, 
I don't know which route we're going to take yet still. I have to do a test run tonight, but other than that, I think I know what it'll be like. Just keep an eye out on the Discord for more info. Um, in the meantime, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for all the follows, all the subs. Um, just all overall, just the great chat. So I really appreciate it, y'all. Appreciate you all so, so, so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bright and early, 10 a.m. Super long stream. We're basically going to be just chatting like the whole time while walking in Lord of the Rings. So there we go. Did someone say my name? Sarah? G yes. Have a good. <laughs> Thank you, Golden. You have a good night. Stay safe as well. Uh, Sarah, we're going to go meet one of your favorited uh, people, actually, Sarah. So, you know we'll see you uh yeah you're gonna you're gonna love this person sarah i guarantee it yeah and uh as, as q is doing you know jump up and down all around enjoy your night and stay safe everybody take care have a good night bye bye oh q's leaving us all right bye bye y'all bye bye see y'all goodbye thank you guys so much have a good one take care <laughs>